Hello, Ash, top of Ashley's head. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode uh, 23 of Plot Hunters. I've got hair all over me. Uh, let's see. Announcements. No Emerald City Comic Con. Sad face. Everybody's diseased and my whole city's shut down pretty much. Um, so I am bored at home playing Final Fantasy 14. I'm almost level 50 now, by the way. Man, you are booking it. I, it took me fucking forever to get through 50, so I'm, I'm glad. They, I'm glad. Well, they have, like, this bonus thing where, like, if you're under 70, oh. they give you extra XP. So I'm, like, leveling way too fast. Like, okay. t- I'm, I've, I'm 10 levels below the main quest, or uh, 10 levels above the main quest. And I'm trying to catch up, but I keep leveling. So I'm just like, wow. Well, I've been home for two weeks because my college got switched online because of coronavirus. Maybe oh. yeah. we'll probably game together at some point. Okay, I'm, I mean, I'm going to 100% be at work because <laughs> my job hates me. But <laughs> Like, Apple is high-key closing for two weeks. It's fucking wild. I mean, we work from bad because the American healthcare system is horrible. But you're out of two weeks off. <laughs> some people, they're, like, they're telling us, like, oh, if you want off, you have to use your PTO. And I'm like... <laughs> I just want to do nothing for free. <laughs> <laughs> a mood. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we are sponsored, of course, by Roll20, which is an awesome virtual tabletop uh, program that runs in your browser. And they have awesome maps and uh, tokens and all sorts of stuff you can purchase for the marketplace. Or you can just upload your own and edit your own if you have that kind of time, which I don't. So I just buy stuff. Um, I... We just got finished with Tomb of Annihilation, which was a super freaking awesome module. And I believe they're, they're updating their dynamic lighting to make it even more awesome now. So definitely check them out. Um, and we are also friends of the Nerdsmith Network, which is another awesome TTRPG uh, or network. There you go. Um, that has a bunch of podcasts and other streams, which we were just watching one where they're like streaming as cats. I don't know how they did that, but it looks awesome. All right, what happened last time? Go a shit. lot of heart to heart. <laughs> a lot of heart to heart. A lot of heart to heart. You know, probably for the best. That's probably for the best, given the fact that Varen has all the heart of like your average like can opener. <laughs> I love can openers. So. <laughs> well, they don't want you back. <laughs> does does Varen not not love us? Varen does love you guys. I, the, on, the, the only thing she, um, that I would have liked to do is like tell you the Varen story for Ralsei's, but, but but that may not be the place. I don't know, cause Cruz revealed a lot of stuff about him. What do you what you reveal? Cruz revealed his husband. <laughs> My husband. <laughs> and he sent a b- paper bird, cause he thought he was that. I was like, you know, just send a paper bird just in case, and it took off flying. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Someone TLD army in. <laughs> but maybe so, not maybe not so TLDR a little less TLDR okay so um, a lot of things happened emotionally we did what we had to do we got the bag of that stuff emotionally I talked to Aaliyah talked to um, Uncle Jar Jar and they had a weird hug um, and they said I guess you're my uncle and said I guess you're my niece And but he told her that he doesn't know if his dad's alive if her dad's alive but her mom is a drider now because she got punished and sent to the underdark okay. um and so i asked for help from y'all and y'all said you would help me and then i told Cruz that he's like a dad to me um and we had a moment um and Cruz told me he was like a yeah i was like a daughter to him um and i said y'all are like my sisters and i hugged you all and all that stuff and then we talked about later on we were stalling for the ship we had more hard to hide. <laughs> apparently that's the only way to get anybody to spill their secrets to yeah, each other is just to stall, stall for time yeah um <laughs> cruz revealed that he has family and that he had a fiance who had died and i was like but do you know when he, he he just kind of left and never came back i'm like how do you know he said send the paper first and Mary was like, yeah, send the paper bird. And, <laughs> and he sent the paper bird, not expecting it to go anywhere, but then it left. It flew off northeast or northwest or whatever. The northeast. northeast. I can't believe Cruz went full on Yasha. Yeah. <laughs> That's I don't know what that means. 
And do you need to watch for a critical role, Ashley? I haven't watched any of it. I can't sit through it. It's like a three, four hour thing. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, at some point in that entire exchange, there was definitely a moment where Baron's just like, should we just assume that everyone who we thought was dead is just not dead? Yeah, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure my actual dad is like, for real, he's dead. But my mom <laughs> like, is just half a spider. Like, should, Baron's just like, should I just be like- Thanks for the subscription, Lady Lady. Yay, Janie! <laughs> Hi, Janie. I played no, with her once, but it was the best. Should I be sending birds to my parents, too? Like, I kind of don't think... want to know that shit, but it would probably be important to know if they're alive, because that would kind of suck. I mean, why not? I mean, you you have yeah. the paper birds. It's you up to you, you know. You got you got to make that decision for yourself. Here's the thing. <laughs> I don't think I want them to be alive. Ooh. Then ignore them. Just... Just, uh, just, you know, live in bliss <laughs> and, and ignorance is bliss, you know? You know? The other, the other side of it being, if they're alive, I want to know. So you can kill them? No, so I can avoid them. Oh, well, then, well, Do why I would you send them a letter? <laughs> oh, I avoid see them. The <laughs> 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 I won't know if a letter is received or not because I won't be saying write me back you can find me here don't forget to bring all of our friends with the tools XOXO XO got the girl you, you could just like write some spam mail you could write you spam could. mail you are you interested in joining our new cult <laughs> well, we have the cult for you <laughs> no I I do I want to know, but they're not even worth the paper bird. Damn. Period. Oh, shit. Get their asses. Hi, Shady. Where is she? That said, it's what, 18 gold for one? Six for 100? Something like that? It was, uh, I know. Yeah, it was six for 100, I think. Yeah. Adriana, is there a cat in that room? Yes. Kitty. She's uh, under a table. We'll tell her I said hello. Sadie Ashley says hello. You want to say hi? Why do you have something in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you she have it in your mouth, Sadie? The pet owner experience. <laughs> Sadie, Sadie, what do you have in your mouth? Sadie. <laughs> Sadie, don't come back. <laughs> Ryan. What does she have in her mouth? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Is it? Okay. Um, <laughs> she's fine. Well, here's what I'll do. I'll send a bird from the ship. That way, it, no matter what happens, it can't be traced back to the current location. Okay, smart. And if it actually, if it actually takes off, I can drown myself. Mm -hmm. No, I, I don't know much. Uh, it's a joke. I was trying humor. It didn't work. No, oh wait. <laughs> oh, Baron, you're so funny. <laughs> uh, by the way, hi, Stumpomatic. Thank you for coming in and joining us for the first time ever. We like hey. Hello. Hey. Um, but. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the story on the ship. This is a story for copious amounts of alcohol. Maybe after the ship, where we're not, you know, dying. Those I don't know. I think before the ship would would give me the right. We're level already on the boat towards the ship. Yeah. Although I will say, uh, is there anything that else that Varen wants to purchase before to prepare? Because ah, you guys, no. you guys got. Um, I think the only thing thing Varen bought was uh, paper birds. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there? A p I, sh I should know the answer to this, but I haven't played 5e in eight years. Um, is there a potion that allows you to hit incorporeal creatures for, like, full damage? Potion uh, of ghost punching. Potion <laughs> of ghost punching? Oh my gosh. I honestly don't know. I would assume there's something out there. I don't know what it's called, though. 5e. Uh -uh. Okay. Why don't I first make a check to know if I know that ghosts, you can't... It, 
Like you can't just punch ghosts. Make an intelligence check. Or an arcana, Dice whichever is better. Dice a lanch. Yay! Oh shit, there, there they go. Okay. Let's put them all over here so I can actually roll one. Okay. Eight. <laughs> you don't know shit. <laughs> um, but I probably would still look for like a potion of, a potion of hit the ghosties. Of hit the ghosties. Um, Is it a hmm. thing in five E? It's gotta be right. It's what? Incorporeal is a thing in five E. It's not just Pathfinder, right? There's it's a real. I don't know if that's the same kind of thing though. Let's see, potion to hit ghosts. Ivy. Ghost punching. Let's see what they got. I don't want Dark Souls. Oh my god. Oh, thank you for the follow, Simplematic. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I, like. I yeah, it would be something that have to, you'd have to be able to attack in the other L plane. Hmm. Because the ghosts are in other role playing here. How much for in a oh, that's right. You used the last one. That was funny. <laughs> oh, that was a great fight where just Mira's taking on a bunch of hags by herself in the other role playing. I didn't die. Her little, uh, her little straw man thing. Yeah. That is entirely true. <laughs> um, uh, where, why don't I have that in my list here? Because I was thinking maybe she should have one. Or maybe, um... What happened, guys? Sorry, I was... My cat's doing maybe, strange things and I was worried. Maybe uh, we should have a few potions of water breathing in case we have to go down into, like, a Oh, water. yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't we I think everybody we got... Uh, yeah, got I think one. you got one got for everybody one. last time. Uh, how much were they? Did we spend money? Yeah, we did. Um... Excuse me, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um... I think, I think it was, like, a hundred? It was 180. 180. 180 each? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, did, is that already taken out of the party gold? I took it out of mine, I think. I bought it for everyone. Oh, okay, thank you. Because I didn't have access to the party fund. Yeah, I got you. So, um, anything else you could... Didn't, oh, I got a, I got a, what did I get? Uh, I didn't add it in, shit. I got a longbow. Oh, that's right, you got yeah. some range. I got yeah. range now. Did we get um, potion of water? Of we did. I think you did. I, I already knew we did. Oh yeah, oil of ethereal How much is the oil again? Oral of ethereal is... Oh, oh damn. Uh, I will say that's 1500 lowering it from the price that is in the book. Because <laughs> that was a lot. Okay, maybe not then. Okay, we'll just... We have magic weapon, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Your fists um. are magic weapons. Okay, um, let's go on a field trip in our favorite rocket ship. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, thank you for the subscription, Echo Slight. Echo Slight. Echo Slight. Um, okay, so uh, if there's no other preparations that you wish to make, you guys depart first thing at dawn. Um, you did have me. You went through and met uh, with a few members of the crew from the ship that from the um, the Emperor of the Waves is the name of the the ghost ship. Did I guess, yeah. Um, yeah. Did, yeah. <laughs> you met a few of the the survivors and spoke to them. Most of them were pretty shaken. Um, you do have two of the survivors. Um, one is Morvin. Oh, your favorite name, Ashley. Morvin Richer, who is a GIF, a hippo person. Um, who is very gung-ho and strangely, like, not really phased by going back for the ship, but he's really just determined to reclaim, um, what's aboard that ship. And he's also there with Henley, Sa Henley Savant, who's a human male who is very reluctant to be there and is only there because Gif made him come. Oh, boyfriends. Okay. <laughs> boyfriends. Well, damn it, they are now. Um. <laughs> who else would go onto a haunted ship for someone? Yeah, yeah, that's entirely true. Past trauma with it. Yes, <laughs> uh, watching you guys try to comfort these poor tra traumatized uh, I did survivors. A damn good job. Y'all, okay? y'all did okay. <laughs> <laughs> For Alina, that's a pretty damn good job. <laughs> that's true. They're there. 
All right, so you guys head out. Let me switch to some open ocean music. There's, do I have any open ocean music? I think I do. Hopefully that, that's it. Um, all right, so it will take you um, the better part of a day to get out there. Um, when you guys start heading out, you notice that the... Actually, everybody make a perception check real quick. Oh, fuck the dice. Yep, yeah, dice are important. Yeah. Oh, well, I have them out. I just need to put them in a place where I can roll them. I got a 22. Ooh, got, Cruz is paying attention this time. I got a natural one. I got a <laughs> Lena's not paying attention. Oh, all right. I'm so emotionally damaged from all the conversations we've had. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> doing a little bit trouble right now. <laughs> I got a 13. Exactly. Okay. Varen? 17. All right, so Cruz and Varen. Uh, Varen, you notice that the ship seems to be further out than it was previously. And um, both of you notice that the longer that you travel towards it, it doesn't seem like it's getting any closer. Like initially, it only seemed like it was going to take a few hours. But as the day wears on, it just keeps drifting further and further away. Classic ghost ship answer. <laughs> <laughs> Those ghost ships, darn them. <laughs> something to get there? Um, Is there a secret password? <laughs> ghost, 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 I always say make an intelligence check whoever wants to. You're dead. Uh, 19. We're dead. What a suck. Wow, I should just roll a different die because I just rolled a two. I That's am a 12. emotionally stunted. I got a Did you get a good roll yet or should I try it? Uh, no, Varen did. Um, okay. You kind of uh, talk around with the crew, and they're just like, I don't understand why we're not getting closer. Um, but Gif is kind of pondering very loudly. Like, he doesn't really know how to how to think uh, quietly to himself. You he just hear him muttering to, to himself. He quietly. He really doesn't. He does not have an inside voice. And he's muttering, and he's just like, I feel like it's trying to draw us out to deeper sea. Oh, it's trying to draw us out into the Kraken! Oh, that's terrifying. Well, we're just gonna have to follow it. Well, I don't feel like just following the base blindly <laughs> is the answer. Well, it's not blindly anymore. We know where it's taking it's, us. It's not going to come to us, is it? Well, we could try- I don't- we could try something before we get any closer. Maybe you can use your horn to, like, well, soothe was... the beast? <laughs> That's not it. I you play like, some like. <laughs> no, I no. I think that was a pretty good option. I think I so too. I was going to say that we could try like signaling the ship or something, you know. Well, I don't uh, think it, it knows we're following it. Let's signal yeah. some ghosts. You know, hey, y'all. We could signal and be like, hey, we're not lethal. Well, they're ghosts. I don't think they care. They're already dead. Well, I just... What do ghosts like, like? I feel like just walking yeah. into the trap, even though we know it's a trap, isn't the answer. Like, I mean, do you want to swim like, there? Is that... That's worse. <laughs> I think we're I mean, going, right? Cruz, I mean, you're the one that is, you know, familiar with the sea. What is your idea? Right. Man, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Can I do an intelligence check? <laughs> go ahead. That's gonna go great. How to beat ghosts? How to beat ghosts? So ghost how do I beat ghosts? Uh, what did you roll? A 15? 15? Um, you haven't had a whole lot of experience with ghosts. I mean, you've had experience with, like, undead. But ghosts are a little bit different. Um, let me see. I lost the dice, and I don't know. Let me see what ghosts can do, because I haven't used one in a while. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. You know enough to know that they are, they're going to be resistant to most physical things. But as long um, as you all have a uh, magical ship. I have a magic sword. <laughs> magic fists. Magic fists. Magic, magic. I have a magic sword, I think. You do. You have a magic you have the, scimitar. Yeah. yeah, you have scimitar speed. And then you have the blood spear, I think. Yeah, but I don't need you. I don't need you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Do you still have it, or did you get rid of it? I have it. I just haven't used it in ages. <laughs> the poor thing. It's just because like, you forgot. It, probably. That little spear. <laughs> Neglect of magical weapon. All right. Well, I will. Dec- I will disperse to the group. <laughs> um, how far is the ship from us right now? Like, it still it looks like it's only a few hours. At, uh, a few hours away. I think okay. we gotta, right? We gotta. I mean, I feel like we at most have to like keep. Look out we, for like. Are we prepared like, to fight a kraken? Yeah. I will. On the record, I feel like this is some kind of Sisyphean task. I will be up in the crow's nest, uh, keeping an eye out. Sure. Any right. any advice from our watchers? You know, so we don't die. Remember, if you're a <laughs> subscriber, you can give the following tributes. And right. You can, if you're a tier one subscriber, you can give a vanish on a roll, a 1d8 inspiration die, and a greater healing potion. If you're a tier two subscriber, you can give a vanish on a roll, a d10 inspiration die, recover one spell slot, so that only really works for Mira, and a superior <laughs> healing potion. Oh, and cruise. The <laughs> two who have some spells. You can give another vanish on a roll, a d12 inspiration die, recover one spell slot, third level or higher. And a super, or a supreme healing potion. Does anyone have any third level or higher spells? Out of curiosity. I don't oh. think so. No. <laughs> I want to say no. Yeah, right. I only have second level. Yeah. All right. Negatory. So just yeah. I don't one. have spells. Well, I do, but they're like there. See, Baron, you got to vanish on a roll. Thank you, Grandma. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> Play thanks, Blade Bud. Bud. All right. About to you by. Disney probably. They own everything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, the if there's nothing else that you wish to do, the ship continues its chase. I will stay in the crow's nest watching. Same. Or or not in the crow's nest. Just looking. Singing sailor songs that I don't know. Even know sailor songs? <laughs> nope. <laughs> you were just making up. shit up. <laughs> She's just like, see, 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 I'm making up sailor songs with her. At some point, Gif jo- or uh, not Gif, uh, uh, Morvan joins you up there, and he's just kind of tapping his foot, and he kind of joins in. He doesn't know lyrics either, but y'all are just kind of bantering <laughs> off each other, bouncing, just freestyling together. Yeah. These sailor songs. Barrett goes just a little bit higher. <laughs> Alina goes to the other side of the ship. We're just gonna follow them. Like, see, see, see. I love the sea. <laughs> Once Baron sees Mara leave, she just slowly like, comes back down. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Alina's just screaming the entire time. <laughs> this is the ultimate road trip. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> please um, shut up. Please shut up. Please yeah, shut I'm up. Keeping, I'm keeping an eye on the horizon, the ship, under the sea, so I can see if there are any shadows. Um, okay, go ahead and make a perception check. Let me use... Dude, we lost viewers because of your song, Mayra. <laughs> <laughs> um, 18. 18. All right. Um, you are keeping an eye on the horizon, and one thing that you notice is oh. as the... Um, what's up? You got advantage on a roll. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh, JD lady, thank you. I feel so special. <laughs> uh, as the day wears on and coming into evening, you see the sun setting, but you also notice that there is a, a bank of clouds and it starts to get pretty hazy along the horizon. Um, you don't see anything under the sea, but the sea does get dark and starts getting choppier. Storm. And just, yes, yeah, storm! Ah. Well. <laughs> Incoming storm. Yes. Um, and sure enough, you guys find yourselves sailing straight into a storm. Um, you see everybody kind of starting to tie themselves down because it gets pretty choppy. And you guys are on a, you're on a fishing boat, so it's not a huge uh, uh, thing. But the waves aren't too high, but they are very choppy. And it's mostly rain, darkness, very, very dark out, and sleet. It is cold, it is wet, and y'all are sailing in. And at some point, you, uh, one of the, um, what the hell are they called? The navigators, the one actually steering the ship, uh, calls out that he can't see the ghost ship anymore. But he's just going to keep heading in the direction that you last saw it. I I think we're going to become the ghost ship. I checked behind us. I think we're the ghost ship. 
Um, make a perception check behind you. I'm like all around, but like also ghost ship. And oh. where are the ghost ship? Then who's driving the car? 22. Um, you check behind you, and all you can see once you're in the storm is just rain. Rain, choppy seas. You cannot see hardly anything beyond, um, like, maybe 100 feet. Um, but you do not spot the ghost ship. I'm going to use a paper bird. Wait, do I know if the paper bird will get fucked up in the rain? <laughs> probably. Uh, it is a magic item. So I will say that it probably has protections like against... Like treated paper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to write um, the missing wife name and let the bird go towards the ship or which is anybody remember what the missing wife's name is <laughs> what what is it? like guinevere guinevere genevere 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 yeah genevere i got uh, close close all right are you sending a paper bird yeah to genevere these paper birds man we're really fucking <laughs> that it's like the single most useful magic items you got in this game <laughs> All right, you write and out the word, uh, the name Genevieve, and send the paper bird off. And you see it does fly in the direction that you were still going. Um, but very quickly, the rain um, and just the general like mist or fog uh, quickly uh, it disappears into it, and eventually you can't see it anymore. But it was heading in the direction that you were heading. Does no anyone more scream? Because then we can like. I have rope. Okay, I'm going to get rope, and I'm going to do it again, and ride it on, and then, like, let it steer us, or, like, point us into the direction, but not go too far. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So, you kind of awkwardly, you kind of have to, like, they have thick ropes, and so you have to kind of, like, unfray it a little bit, and, like, just awkwardly tie it to the end of it. But you do manage to tie a little rope around, like, the tail of this paper bird, <laughs> and send it off. And uh, how far how far forward do you let it fly? It, it, it's straining against the rope to fly as you guys are holding it. So what direction, or, or, or sorry, what length are you letting it fly? Like, how long is your rope? How long is it? Isn't it like rope 50 feet? Yeah, it's like 50 feet. I'll do 25 feet. Yeah. Okay, so you do about 25 feet and you see it kind of, you're at the front of the ship, which for the, I can't remember what the hell the front of the ship is called. Uh, uh, <laughs> is it the bow? I don't know the if that's bow, the bow. I think so. We okay. Don't, we don't sail here in real life. <laughs> I'm from Arizona. We ain't got no water there. <laughs> um, but you stand there, Mira. Like it's almost like you're flying a kite, a tiny little kite in the wind, and it's just flying forward. And occasionally you see it kind of correct itself ever so slightly, and so you direct uh, the uh, was it the bosun maybe? What JD said? Uh, you direct it off to the side to continue to follow the direction that it's in. Uh, it is a very uncomfortable situation, though, because y'all are getting drenched with cold rain and sleet. Should have gotten umbrellas. Should have. Um, but uh, after about... It is pretty windy. After uh, about another couple hours of just holding this thing aloft and switching arms and maybe switching hands <laughs> with other people... Um, eventually, all of a sudden, you come out of this bank of clouds and into clear, dark sky. Oh, it's right there, isn't it? And at the center of this kind of open sea, you see the ship, the Emperor of the Waves. <laughs> How big? <laughs> I'm just imagining cruise taking. <laughs> what you're doing right now? It, he is. He's like present. Um. <laughs> We think it had a crew of about 20 people so it's it's a decent size but not like a huge huge ship it was it was basically like a a cargo ship kind of thing uh well let's do a thing Sneak let's aboard? punch some ghosts how <laughs> how far is the closest point of contact on that ship as you start to come closer to it, um, the some of the crew or the, the captain lets you know that, or Morvan, well, I'm hoping Morvan the captain, how about that, um, lets you know that uh, we're not going to go too close to the ship ourselves. Um, we've got, they've got like a little rowboat that you can, you can guys uh, can take to reach the ship, but they will get within about a thousand feet of the ship and you'll have to take it the rest of the way. All right. Get after it, girl. All right, so 
they they pull up and uh, <laughs> and uh, kind of anchor themselves about a thousand feet off the co- off the um, from the ship. And y'all climb into a little rowboat, and they lower you down. Who's doing the rowing? Alina. Just okay. Alina by herself. Yeah, Alina just me. Right. <clears throat> I'm at 20 her. strength. I think Alina and Cruz can do it. I mean, I've mm. only got one arm. I don't... I can't really <laughs> That's I will right. Help. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> I mean, Cruz can take one side. Alina can, can take the other side. I'll help here. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll I'll can, I, I can right roll us. I can rose. It's fine. <laughs> Bless you. Can you try and help, Mira. Yeah, I will help. Um, I will try and okay. help. Okay. I'm going to keep an eye out for ghosties. Okay, um, go ahead and make a perception check, whoever wants to. Ooh. Uh, 19? Um, 29? All right. Not 20. Uh, nice. Perception check? Uh, 12. Okay, so Alina, you're you're busy rowing, um, and doing all the physical labor while everybody else just sits back and enjoys the ride. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, no, I'm I. You have twenty strength. You can row a boat. I do have twenty strength. <laughs> you have. You're good. If you had, uh, I did roll an eighteen plus five. So you got this. You're like just. Yes. Oh, my muscles are just like <laughs> just <head>. glistening. Yeah. <laughs> that God. rain, that like post rain, like. um as you uh start getting a little bit closer to the ship um mira you notice that uh its masts have been pretty much broken off um you see that there's several holes in the side of it crews from your knowledge of ships in general with the amount of damage that this ship i mean this ship is almost skeletal with the amount of damage it has taken it really should not be uh, <laughs> above water. Um, and you do notice that it's kind of listing and part of it's like heavy in the water. So it's just like, it's so weird that it's floating. Um, and Jen, as you guys start to get closer to, um, you start to pass like the, the, the figurehead, which looks like a majestic angel. And then uh, you also notice that the, from what you can tell, there's nothing on the main deck. Okay. From what you can see. All right. As soon as we get close enough, I'm just going to, like, run up the side. <laughs> just leave everybody. <laughs> Bye. Um, you manage to find that there is, like, a, a rope ladder that is actually half, like, shorn. It's kind of, you kind of have to, like, hop up to try and grab it. Um, but there is a kind of a frayed rope ladder off one side. And so you kind of pull the, uh, boat up to the side there. Perfect. I'm just going to shimmy up. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and make a, make, are you just using your, I'm just walking up the side of the ship. <clears throat> I would say make a uh, acrobatics check. Is it? So my one question is. Um, you can move along vertical surfaces and across liquids on your turn without falling during the move. Do I still have to make a check? Um, is it require you to run? Uh, I'm assuming that's a... It just says you can move. You can move? Which means, uh, like, walking speed, my typical walking speed. Um, I will say that in that case, you can probably pretty much, like, just run up um, to the ship and, like... You don't need the rope ladder, but occasionally you'll just grab it and just boost yourself up super fast. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? Oh, also I'm going to do stealthily. Okay, go ahead and roll stealth. And ever, is everybody else stealthing? Uh, yeah. yeah. 22. 22, all right. Uh, I mean, I was fighting the rope ladder. But... Whoa. Um, it's not great. Oh, um, 17. Okay. Nine. <laughs> okay. God, we really should have used past lab trays. <laughs> I'm pretty sure ghosts have lines that it's fine. Um, I don't think I'm that works. Who, like, is Cruz tall enough to, like, re- like just gra- reach for the ladder? Yeah, re- okay. crew can reach for the ladder. Uh, one thing is, how are you, are you just leaving your boat behind? What are you doing about the little boat? Tied to the, oh. Oh. She tied to the ladder. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I okay. got rope. All right, that so you're going to tie the, the little rowboat to the rope ladder. All right. And uh, so who's going up first? Varen? Varen already went up. Oh, Varen's I'll, at the I'll go first. Up I'll go up after. Oh, okay. Varen. So you head up the rope ladder, and then um, I'm assuming Cruz, you're just kind of, you're just going to, are you taking Mana, or is Mana going up by herself? Do you want me to carry her? Or just give, your, give her a boost. Give me a boost. Or I'll give her a With boost. With what? You have one arm. My dad. You know, Lena is, I mean, not Lena. <laughs> Lima, because that's who, what Mara's name is here now, uh, is very tiny. So, you know, his, I'm pretty sure his whole hand can, like, fit her two feet. And just He has a stub. He has a stub. So I'm nope. just going to, you know, I'm just going to climb him. Just, like, awkwardly, like, behind, on his back. <laughs> While, okay. While he's holding onto the ladder. <laughs> you is. just clamber up his back. Right. Like a squirrel. <laughs> Alright. So, Mira, you head up the rope ladder, and then cruise. I'm up there. I will say, make a strength check, cruise, because you are climbing with one hand. I mean, I've got my legs, so you know, brace me. <laughs> you do. It's still awkward, Dad. though. Dad! <laughs> Dad! Ah, but it's a ten. <laughs> it's a ten? Alright, so you attempt to clamber up. Um, but you end up slipping on like the slip si- sleek side of the ship, and you fall into the water. <gasps> I mean, I can swim probably. Okay. Thank I'm you. assuming you can swim. I, I can swim better. <laughs> I mean, if you were a pirate, I would assume you could swim. I hope so. Jeez, you picked the wrong line of work. <laughs> if you can. Um, shit. But do I see anything under the water? Um, make a perception check as you tread water. Man, you're gonna say there's something scary there. God, that's a net 20. Net 20. <laughs> <laughs> you see everything. You see everything. Um, in the water, you don't see anything in particular, but you do notice that there is a hole in the side of the ship and you see something move through that hole. Uh, okay, okay. Um, shit. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna, can I, can I try and, like, jump for the ladder? Um, also, yeah, you can clamber back into the rowboat and try again. Alright. Go ahead and... I will, I will, like, reach out and help. (laughs) Alright. I think the Kraken's wearing this boat like a shell. God, that's terrible. Ew. Okay, this time was way better. Literally, like, I got... 24. 24. Okay, so this time, with a little bit of panic behind you, you manage to uh, panic dive <laughs> for this uh, this rope ladder, and you do manage to grab it this time. And it's still a little awkward, but you do manage to shimmy your way up with your hand and your stub, just kind of like mm, getting your way up. And Mira's kind of reaching down and trying to pull you up as best she can. It's actually not really helping a whole lot, but it's worth a try. There's something in the water. There's, there's something in the water. It's not. I don't know if it's a fucking kraken. Something in the water is in the boat or is it something in the water? Deep breath. In. Hold. Hold your breath, Cruz. Hold it. Wasn't that fucking relaxing? (laughs) I'm relaxed. (laughs) Tell you what, here's the thing. It's in the water. We're up here. We got some time. We know it's there. Okay. Well, you said it was in the boat? It's in the boat. Do you know what it was? Like, what did you see specifically? I saw a shape <laughs> moving. That's enough. Are you fucked up? Yeah. This ship should not be above water. This is a fucked up ship. <laughs> well, maybe this is the Kraken's new shell. Let's start really? the above ground parts of this place, or above water parts of this place, and then we'll go down. All right, let so me go ahead and set up the map here. Yay. So we have to get those deeds for the captain or whatever. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing. Um, captain uh, Elgrutha Blackblade, who is sending you on this uh, quest, um, basically wants you to find a blue metal box that has... You actually didn't... She didn't tell you what was in it, but you found out from Morvan that it is um, has some important deeds to some mines that belong to her clan. 
All right, so give me just a second to set this up. Talk amongst yourselves. Hi guys. Hi guys. Yeah. Hey. Final Fantasy 14. That's my little ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and play Dragon Age this week. Do it. Ooh, now I, which one are you playing? The, the Inquisition? Uh, I'm actually gonna start with Origins because I want to romance Severin. Oh um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nice. You, you're gonna like him. <laughs> and um, and then I'm gonna go to uh, Inquisition, and I'm going to purposely romance Sola for the drama of it. Uh, stole it? Don't, it's not worth it. Don't do, I, I was a dummy dummy to be here and be like, you guys are crying over that L? Bleah! And then, and then, you know, and then you did crying. It. I literally can't get through his room because I see he's so annoying. <laughs> yes. yes. It depends how annoying I find him. If not, who, sh who else should I romance in existence? Unrest. Unrest? Cruz. This is the second one. <laughs> Cruise, um, what are you using? It's pretty dark. Um, above, it, on the top of the boat, you can see a little bit. But what are you? Are you using a light source? Because once you get in the boat, it's going to be harder for you to see. Um, so you have a little pouch of light. I have my charm. I have my fucking hold on. My fucking yeah. uh, my fucking my charm <laughs> dark vision. <laughs> my fucking uh. <laughs> and how long does that last? Um, that's just a great question. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> no, I'm really looking at my notes. It's gonna take me. A so second. who's Fenris? <laughs> Fenris oh. is in the second game, and he's. I love him. He's is hot. he the elf with he's the hot. white hair? Yeah, yeah. and he's okay. dramatic. Oh yeah, he's hot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like the he's, worst, but I love him. I hate boy. Fenris so much. Oh, why, is he, why is he bad? He's not I, I just know his voice just drives me crazy. <laughs> I don't like his voice I at all. I specifically well, you want to Andre. romance Severa because of his accent. <laughs> um, just, every time I listen to, to to him, I just want to like clear my throat because it's just like, oh god, it just hurts my throat so much. Oh, we're oh thank you for the raid. Nice. Oh, thank you, Solar. Hi. Hi. I just think like it must be hard being that edgy all the time. Yeah. I yeah, mean, exactly. Anders are like the two most edgiest ones. And don't get me started on I hate them. But I love them, but I hate them. <laughs> All right, so you find yourselves on the uh, main deck of the Emperor of the Waves. Um, let me look at my notes here. Um, you notice that uh, the part, it, the whole ship is kind of listing to like front to back. So there's a part of the ship, like the back of the ship is like, or uh, is it the front or the back? The front of the ship is lower than the back. So there is this kind of angle to the main deck. Um, who, whoever wants to make a perception check can make one. Make one. As you attempt to stealth ah, around. My perception check is fucking suck. But I don't want to waste my advantage on this. Uh, 26. Ooh, very nice. All right, um, from what you can see, there is nothing around on this particular deck, um, but you do notice that there is, there are the steps that lead up to the forecastle in the quarter deck, the front and the back. Um, you notice that the masts are broken, the, um, it's not called a steering wheel, but the steering wheel, whatever the heck, I should have looked up ship terms, I honestly should have, but I don't know what these things are called. But that one um, looks pretty worn. Wheel. Some of the handles are broken off. The helm. The helm. The helm. Um, um, are broken off. Um, there are. There is a grate in the middle of the uh, floor that is pretty heavily rusted, and you also see that there are doors to the front, or to the front and back of the ship that lead into other areas. I'm gonna what go to the door. But you do not hear anything or see anything as far as what is uh, what is moving. Would it's we know where the captain's quarters would be? Um, I would say crews make an intelligence check. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey. It's my worst. Oh, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? A four. For cruises, cruises, you're still shaken by landing in the water, and you're just generally kind of creeped out about this whole situation. 
I'm gonna try that door be... right there. Yeah. All right. You, uh, let's see. Listen. And are you just opening it or? I'm listening first. Listening first. Okay. Um, let's see. What are my rooms here? Um, you do not hear anything in that room. Okay. Mara, can you check for traps? Yes, I can. I will help her check for traps. All right. Go ahead and make a roll with advantage. Oh, <laughs> boy. Thank God for that advantage. <laughs> um, 19? Wait, no. It's more than that. Uh, oh boy, I hate math. Uh, 20 math numbers. 23. 23. <laughs> 23. Okay. Um, the door does not appear to be trapped. Um, it, it seems pretty worn, but it's not locked. All right. I'll open it. All right, you open it, and inside you see that there is, um, the room is covered in broken furniture. Um, from what you can tell, this is probably the navigator's room. You see just kind of this worn maps on the floor, other paperwork. But one thing that gets you is that a lot of the furniture and the stuff on the floor is covered in some sort of glossy black goo, I guess you could say. Do I know what it is? Um, make a, make a Arcana check. That's a no from me. That's the a no from you. Oh, oh, wait, I can make, I meant like the black goo was a no from me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I no. also can't, oh. also I can't roll a kind of stuff. Um, I have 21. 15. 15, 21. Um, from sight, you don't really know what it is. Um, Cruz, however, you notice that um, you're kind of just taking a closer look at it and just kind of not necessarily touching it, but like looking. It looks solid. Oh god, it's cracking eggs. Eh. Fred's! Hate it. It's hate pretty, it. and it's pretty sh glossy. Take it. Uh, like, if you can imagine, like, um, you know, if you, oh, what is it? Like, if you poured, like, um, something sugary and it let it dried. Oh, kind of like a crack, like if you could crack it. Um, yeah. That's okay. like a bad thing to see in nature, I feel like. Yeah. What do these stairs lead so, to? I um, would like to find the captain's quarters. <laughs> okay, uh, first I will say, um, Cruz and uh, Varen, make a dexterity check for me real quick. Uh-oh. We're saved. Um, a check right now. It's a bad one. I keep getting really good and really bad rolls. 19. 19? Six. Six. Okay. Um, Varen, you managed to skirt around this goo, but Cruz, as you're kind of taking a look at things, at some point your foot strikes one of the, which is a small little puddle of it, oh, no. and it begins to ripple. Is it black pudding? And it is not black pudding. Uh, black it is an ooze black. And everybody, roll for initiative. Obviously. Ah, shit. Obviously. <laughs> All right. So we need some battle music. One second. All right. So we got. Um, I have too many things on my desk. Well, All I right. So night. Nineteen for Mira. Who? Uh, what did uh, Varen get? Sixteen. 16. Um, Alina? Uh, 13. 13. 13. Alina, okay. Cruz? 11. 11. Why did I write down 11? Uh, <laughs> all right, and let me roll for the ooze black. All right, that is. Mm. Oh, wow. It has a minus three to its dex. All right. All right, so Mira, you are up first. You see this thing start to ripple and kind of form around Cruz's foot. Ooh, I'm gonna go at it. We're gonna stab the shit out of it. And oh, I probably should have. Oh, hey, I, I have a thingy. I have a token, I think, for this. Let me see. Don't let Grandpa lose another limb. <laughs> there we go. You just make it even, you know, on each side. You have a whole get a peg leg. 
you're a real pirate now. Uh-huh. <laughs> there we go. There is the ooze black there for you. Zoom in on that. Oh, that's fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stab the heck out of it. All right, go ahead and stab the heck out of that ooze black. <laughs> <laughs> so the first attack does not hit. That's a natural one. Oh, oh okay. Um, let's see. Um, hang on one second. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so this is interesting. When you strike out to this thing, you expect it not to have much of an effect, but it actually hits and roll damage. Okay. And one thing that you notice is that in areas where it's still, it seems solid, but as soon as you strike it, it becomes liquid or kind of gooey -ish. If you think of like non-Newtonian type of oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. things, With a so one? a natural one is a critical hit. What? This is oh. fucked up. Oh my god! This is <laughs> fucked up. This oh is shit! Fucked. You're getting twisted. Okay, well let me uh oh oh what is oh the this pressure. Black? What's that? What's this called? It's called an ooze black. It's a it's a it's a home it's a homebrew. Okay. Mommy, hit me with those deets so I can use it in my campaign. Yeah, after this I will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me use that uh, sweet sneak attack first. So that's 10 so far. Uh, plus. So 15 in total. Plus another 6. So 21. Roll for damage, because, you know, this thing is weird. Oh man. <laughs> oh, the pressure. Go ahead and take your break, guys. Um. <laughs> oh, wait, so and I double the dice? Double the dice, yeah. <laughs> okay, two. Wait, no, so that's four. Four plus eight. No, no, four plus. So you got 21 so far, right? Yeah, 21. Oh, okay. So four plus. Uh, so plus 16. And I think that's it. 37? Yeah. 37 total? Yeah. So All right, 37 total. Um, however, as you are piercing it, it does hit, but you do notice that the the fact that you're piercing it with a rapier, it doesn't seem to be taking quite as much damage. You're still taking, it's still taking damage, but it is resistant. Okay. So it will take half that, which is? Uh, 18. 18. Thank you. Got you. Our human calculator. <laughs> All right, anything else you wish to do? I will use my bonus action to hit it again. All right. Um, boy, it's so weird. Oh, hang on, hang on one second. Oh. Before you do that, I need you to make a... Never mind. Go go ahead and do it. It's, okay. not, it's not there yet. <laughs> uh, the, I rolled a three. It's a three plus ten. Does a 13 hit? Um, uh, a 13 does not hit. <laughs> that is precisely its AC, and it does not hit. Wait, what? Okay. Does... It's so weird! <laughs> <laughs> Do you have below its AC? Uh huh. Wait. Alright. Cool. So, that anything else that you want to do? That's it. I'm just gonna be like, this is weird! <laughs> I have a plus 10 weapon. This has gotta be hard, guys. <laughs> Alright. So, next up is um, Varen. Uh, Varen. As a, can I take off thoughts and prayers? Yeah, I'll, I'll let you do that as a free action. Cool. As a free action, I slip them off into my pockets, lowering the two hit by one, <laughs> and I start swinging. All right, good. Uh, oh, I'm also gonna move to flank. Actually, no, I'm not. Wait, here's a question. If mm -hmm. I'm and I have advantage, can I pick which one to use? Can you what? If I'm flanking and have advantage, can I pick which roll to use, or does it have to be the higher one? Um, I will say in this case, it would be, because it's kind of flipped, it would be like the lower one. Cool. All right. So I'm going to scoot to flank with Mera, and uh, let's see 
No, that's a uh, 17. All right. Oh no, I have a plus 11 to hit. Fuck. Just use a different weapon. But, but it's her shiny. That's uh, a, 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 an 18. Nope, none of them hit. You are punching at this thing and it's just kind of wobbling, but not really doing any damage. All right, next up is going to be the Oozblick. Um, Let's see, what is it gonna do? All right. It is going to attack someone. It is gonna go after Mira. And it is going to, actually, you know what? It's gonna go after, um, let's see, can it do? It's gonna move forward and kind of roll over where Mira and Alina are. Oh. So it's like gonna oh my God. get into your space here, all up into your stuff. And um, I'm just gonna leave it there. And it, I need you guys to, let's see, hang on one second, let me read this real quick. Um, Uh, I need you to to make a dexterity saving throw. Does it does it does it provoke? Um, that was a yes for you. Yes. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. That does not hit. 15. Sorry. Fifteen. Uh, wait. Fifteen for the saving throw. Mm-hmm. That succeeds. Uh. Sixteen for the saving throw. All right. So you both succeed. So you are. Um, both of you are kind of pushed off to the side. So Mira, you kind of pushed over here. Um, let me see. I'm going to get Alina real quick. I'll say Alina, you're kind of shoved off over to this direction. Um, but you are not engulfed. Um, let's see. Is Crave engulfed? <laughs> Uh, no, he uh, it just moved into your area. Uh, all right, so in that case, it, it, that was just its move. So uh, it's going to attempt to hit Mira because she did a lot of damage to it. Oh. Get her uh. no. All right. That is a 24 to hit. Yeah, yeah that hits. All right. I hate that my cat is Uh, that is 14 acid damage that you take. Ooh, spicy. Ouch. Not happy about that. 14? 14, yes. You could uncanny dodge. I will uncanny dodge. <laughs> All right, uncanny dodge and you'll have that. <laughs> All right, uh, next up is Alina. Do I, have you guys communicated that I have to suck to punch these things? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I said it's weird. And you also, it's weird. You also saw there and just like take off her gauntlets. Oh. Okay. I guess I'll use my great axe, which is the plus nine. <laughs> you have not used this great axe since like, <laughs> was it since like Curse of Strahd at least? Yeah, like it's been a long time. I do have. Um, do I notice that regular weapons don't hit? Um, just... You've noticed that there it seems to have a pretty strong resistance to weapons in general. Oh, um, okay. You saw Mira um, strike at, and it didn't take take quite as much damage as it should have. And oh, is Mira, do I know if Mira's a, a rapier is magic? Um, yes. Okay. It's a plus. Magic. It's a plus one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So use my great axe and just be like, "Come on, buddy, it's time to bring you out again." <laughs> and then I'll try to, I'll rage. Um, Doesn't rest on it. <laughs> oh, I clean my weapon. I can't. Fuck you. <laughs> um, I just bundle him. A little sleepy burrito. No. Well, one of them is the 19, and the other one is the 10, 11. Okay, so one will hit. Um, as you strike out with this thing with your axe, instead of just damage, it doesn't damage it, but it does seem to divide the creature and it splits into two. Slashing damage. You made it work! So. <laughs> I don't think um, I helped, guys. It is 
it does get smaller. Um, but now there's two. But now there's two, so I'm going to copy and paste. Do it does zero damage. <laughs> um, so now we got two. Oh my god. <laughs> and let's see. All I can do is flash things, guys. Let me get to, like rip it with your bare hands and go. So. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to do uh, uh, do during your turn? What about I'm gonna take out my mace of terror and bludgeon it. <laughs> All right, you're gonna strike out with your mace. Which one are you bludgeoning? The uh, the one that's right next to you. The one, yeah, the one that's with me and Drew. Okay, cool. Um, and I guess I'm gonna use one of its charges as well. Uh, so they have to make a DC 15. Uh, what's the saving throw? Is that to frighten it? Yeah. Oh wait, okay. I I already rolled for my two attacks, so I can't do that. But I will. Oh, okay. Bonus action, I fucking rage. Alright, uh, you rage and you switch weapons. And I switch weapons with a free action, yeah. Okay. Alright, uh, next up is Cruise. Alright, this would have this would have worked better when it was one thing. But um I'm gonna use I'm gonna use lightning lure on the one closest to me. Okay. Does that bring it towards you? Well, it's already it's a- right there. Yeah. But it does damage, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so, I need, so a, I need a strength check. Strength check. Strength. Um, that is a fifteen. God. Yeah. That makes it. Oh wait. Okay, so I have a bonus action that I can do. Okay. Does it take any damage if it makes it or no? No. Wait, okay. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm completely forgetting how to play D and D. I'm like not looking at You also me. haven't done this ability in a long time. A long time, because I hate lightning glare. Um Okay, it takes lightning damage if it's within five feet of me, which it is. So it doesn't matter if it stays. Wait. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, it still takes the damage. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Fuck. That's not the right dice. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, As Cruz starts to panic. <laughs> okay. It takes 17 damage. 17 lightning. All right. You strike it. It's, it. You take your lightning lure and you attempt to lure it. It doesn't work, but you do see the lightning strike out against it and it seems to absorb it and it has no damage. I hate lightning lure. <laughs> I think this is the last time that you used it that has had the same effect. Like, every time you use it, it gets, it's against something that is immune to lightning. <laughs> Guys, this, uh, this thing was designed to, like, not work for us. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, they, you do slashing damage, it splits up. Oh, you do lightning damage, you split, it doesn't take any damage. Well, fuck, I guess I use my bonus action to use my fucking blood here. <laughs> oh my god, you're using the blood spear! <laughs> That's how low we stuck. <laughs> if it's piercing, you're just gonna split it up again. No, if it's slashing. Yeah, oh, this slashing. is piercing. Oh, okay. Alright, oh, god, that's still 18. Wait, that's 19. To hit? Yeah. Alright, no, it does not hit. <laughs> 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 Alright, next up is gonna be Mira again. The only one who's done any kind of damage. <laughs> Oh, this is hilarious. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use Toll the Dead, uh, on the one in front of me? Okay, the one that's right next to you, okay. Yeah, and, yeah, we're just gonna ring, ring a ding those bells. Um, Alright, what does it have to do? Uh, you have, it has to make, oh boy, reading, it has to make a wisdom save of, what is my save? 15? It made... It's got a minus three wisdom. That's a six. Fuck yes. yes. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna, and it's already been hit, right? Yeah, you you did damage to it. I did damage to it. So we're gonna use our beautiful D12, three specifically. So we're gonna fuck this bitch up. All um, right. Yeah. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> uh, yikes. Uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two damage. Yeah. All right, and it takes half that. Okay. Necrotic damage. 
Oh no, uh, uh, piercing. Is that necrotic? Oh yeah, it, no, it, you're using Toll the Dead. Toll the Dead. Oh, that's right. I keep thinking that you're hitting it. Yeah, that takes full damage. Yeah. All right, so... Anything else you'd like to do for your turn? Uh, and that is it. And I'm like, woo, spells work, you guys! Just <laughs> <laughs> spells, guys. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, Varen, you are up. I would like to use... Um, what kind of action would it be to light a fucking torch? I always say like a bonus. Okay, I use a bonus action to light a torch. What do you? How are you lighting it? Uh, tinderbox. Okay. And I would like you... to ever so slowly just poke it. All right, you poke it with the torch. Um, go ahead and make an attack roll. I'm gonna flank again. Uh, which one do I want to do? The one that's already damaged is this one. My um, they're both technically already damaged. Okay. Uh, let me see. Advantage, torch. Would that use dex or strength? Um, dex, probably. Okay. <laughs> I'm not proficient with a torch. So it's just three plus five. What is it? Fuck. It's a 20. <laughs> <laughs> Synthetic twenty, but okay. Um, you fling the torch, and it just sort of it, the the bottom of it sort of bounces off of it, and it just kind of lands. I don't know. And I just like I just like swing it. Oh, you swing it. Okay, you I'm just. Not I'm not done yet. <laughs> okay, go ahead, go. Ahead. Um, that's a fucking fourteen. <laughs> okay, bonus action. All right, <laughs> ten. Ten. All right. So after three swings, you manage to actually hit it with the torch. Um, so go ahead and um, roll roll a d4. Roll a d4. Okay. Yeah, and we'll add like a point of damage for the fire. I love this fight so much. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> um, three plus dash. Eight bludgeoning damage. I assume it's budget anyway. Um, oh yes, uh, eight bludgeoning, so that actually gets halved to four because it's still pretty resistant to it, but it does also take a point of fire damage. So, um, and you do see that it does take the full fire damage, which is like, uh, we'll say a point. I I shout at Alina, just like... Uh, which one are you attacking? The one that, that Amir attacked? Or the other one? Well, okay. The, um, okay, so... And I, and I shout at whoever the fuck is next in line, just like, take my torch and set the fucking thing on fire. Hold it there. You guys are in a perfect area to like pass it along. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not gonna do much damage. If you, if you hold it there for long enough, it might set it on fire. All right, next up is the ooze black, um, or the let's see. Oh, I have to roll. Mm, I have to roll for the other one because now mm. two of them. Black. And... All right, ooze two. So we'll say the one that cruises next to is number one. Um, so it's going to strike out a cruise. Um, but he was number one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is a 19 to hit. Yeah. Wait. All right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That is 15 points of acid damage. Okay. Ouch, mama. Um, and I need you to make a DC 15 strength saving throw. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Um. Ooh. I don't like that. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not it. I got a 10. 10. Okay. So as it strikes out at you, you take the damage and then you see that it kind of ramps around your stump and you are stuck to it. You are grappled. Ah. Wait, wait. No, wait. I mean, I don't mean no. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this just means that I can't use my reaction to use Hellish Rebuke. Um, do you need... Yeah, like it's Hellish Rebuke. Yeah, I mean, like you still had your, like, another arm free for somatic components. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use Hellish Rebuke. Okay, go ahead and do it. Alright, wait, it needs to do something. It needs to do a deck save. Deck save. Yeah, it has really bad decks. That <laughs> okay? So it has a minus three, and I rolled a two, so that's a negative one decks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get it. Eater. 
Oh, she's fire damage. Um, that is 12 damage. 12 damage. All right. What kind of damage is it? Oh, fire. Yes. Okay, cool. Then it takes full damage. All right. Um, what just happened? Oh, thank you for the follow, Fireburb. Aw. Uh, all right, so next up is going to be uh, Alina. Uh, okay, I'm going to hit it with my mace, which does not a lot of damage, but damage, I guess. Uh, 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 wait seven plus does a 16 and that misses as it as you strike out against it you find that it suddenly solidifies and it just bounces right off of it Uh, the other one was a natural 19 which usually I would crit Yes. But it doesn't matter because we can't hit it. <laughs> yes. Again, as as you keep swinging at it, it just solidifies as soon as you strike it. I was just like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting even more angry. Like, they're even more rage. <laughs> All right. Anything else? No. No? Okay. <laughs> um, next up is... Cruise. All right, guys. All right. All right. All right, mate. All right. Oh. If we weren't all clustered around, then I would use Shatter. Um, Do it anyway. Do it anyway. You guys want to take that 3d8? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll let's, let's get it. I'm going to cast Shatter like, right in the middle of fucking guys. Okay. Um, uh, what does it require? They need to do a con save. Oh. Con save. So yeah, everybody has to do con save. Um, Who's who, well? How? Though. What's the vicinity? Is it gonna get everybody? It's ten feet. Oh, okay. So if it's right in the middle, yeah, it would get everybody. Yeah, it's gonna get. I'm gonna use that advantage, but definitely got me. <laughs> um. So the first one that's right next to you, Cruz, got a nine, and the next one got a seventeen. So the one by Mira. Okay. The one by me. Didn't say. Okay. And I also didn't say. <laughs> I think you can Wait, angle do I have it. To do it. I have no you idea. can angle it so it doesn't hit you. Okay. So I don't but have to say it. Yeah, but everybody let else. Let me says. let me check. You can angle it so you doesn't hit. If you're doing it here. You can technically angle it so it only gets me. <laughs> exactly. That's very true. <laughs> I can catch fuck you, Mira. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, um. <laughs> the one with the lowest hit points. <laughs> it can take, um. 12, um. Force? Out, le- no. Thunder. thunder. Thunder damage. 12 thunder damage on. And does the other one take any damage? Um. Half. It probably half. It's half. Yeah. Half? Okay, so it's six. Yeah. Alright. And yeah. it does take full damage. Damage. Whoever made the save, or yeah, yeah, same. I rolled the twenty. You're good. It was a sixteen. So you would take half damage. All right. Anything else you want to do, Cruz? Um, I think that's all I can do. God, I all right. Wait, 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 wait! Bardic inspiration. I'm gonna give it. Wait, no. You guys, you guys don't need inspiration. No. <laughs> No, no. Do it, do it, do it, do it. You have negative inspiration. I, I will say that if you want to use your inspiration, it will allow them to subtract yeah. what they roll. Okay, um, I'll give, I'll give, um, I'll give Alina, not Alina, Mira inspiration. I don't need it. I, well, okay, to be fair, Thank I don't you. need it. Wait, you don't need it? Okay. I don't okay. need it, yeah. Like, it's, it's me and Alina who really need it. Okay, yeah. I'll give it to Alina because she has <laughs> All my weapons are plus nine and plus eleven to hit. <laughs> I'm so strong. I love this fight. <laughs> Man, it's like it's my time to shine. No. I say, Alina, if you want, roll an intelligence check. <laughs> PB loves the chaos. <laughs> it distracted by it. Uh, I rolled a natural three, so I'm not. Gonna... All right, yeah, you're too you're too ragey to figure out what's going on. 
<laughs> All right, next up is going to be Ooze 2, which is the one next to Mira, um, which is um, going to try to engulf her. It's going to move into her space. It'll get another attack of opportunity from uh, Varen. All right. Nope. That's All right. Fucking... Even with a torch, that's a natural 17, so fuck me. <laughs> Damn. All right, next up, or sorry, uh, Mira, go ahead and make a deck saving throw. Okay. 14. 14 does not make it. You uh, are engulfed. So, let's see, you take. I love this one. <laughs> but the chaos. <laughs> you take 19 points of acid damage and Yikes. are engulfed. Yikes. <laughs> Alright. That's great. <laughs> um next up is gonna be Mira, so it's your turn. You can make another strength check to see if you can break free from uh Can I use all the dead inside of it? Um, uh, does it require you to be able to, like, speak? Is it? That's a great question. Um, drink, drink that acid. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does have verbal and somatic components. Yeah, I will say that you probably can't speak. You might be able to move a little bit, but you probably can't speak because it's, like, thick goo all around you. Oh, Strength bad. saving throw. You got this. Oh, God. Ooh. Or a strength check. To use a sweet sweet zero. Seven. <laughs> Seven. All right, you are still engulfed. Um, and all right, so you are stuck there. Next up is Varen. Um, Alina, is your axe still on your back or some shit? Probably, but slashing damage is just gonna. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, but right now, Mara is inside it. So I grab the axe. I trundle. Hey! The, like trust. I trundle over to the thing that's on top of Mira, and I swing at it. <laughs> All right. Um, what if you hit Mira? <laughs> yeah, she's in there. Oh, well, make a make an attack roll. A minus one to damage on this thing, so. So I think I have a minus one to hit on this thing right now. <laughs> uh, that's a ten to hit. I hit. You hit, and it splits. It does zero damage, but it does split it into two. Um, so I am going to copy. You I am. As this yeah. happens, just Varen holding an axe bigger than she is. And just being like. <laughs> um, but Mira does reappear as this thing kind of just splits from over her and goes into two. And I talk remember, about Lena yelling, thank you. I just remember in Barovia when you couldn't even pick up my axe. <laughs> <laughs> We've come a long way. We've come a long way. We've come a long way. Um, but yeah, but yeah, but Mary, you see Baron just like standing over you, holding this massive axe. It's, like, it's it's not so much a swing as it is like like holding it like this, letting it like. Uh, Mira, you have advantage on a roll. Gemini Pearl just gave you it. Thank you so much. I will not kill your character. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a vibe, I see. <laughs> All right. Uh, Varen, anything else you want to do? Uh, I'm going to uh, drop the axe as a free action. Um, and scoot up one more and use my second attack to hit that bitch. Okay, what are you striking with it with? Just my fist. Actually, no. Okay. The, 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 the torch, okay. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Uh, that hits. Yay. Okay. Um, it takes seven. Uh, ouch damage. Uh, Is that that's a bludgeoning damage? And then three, and then one more fire. Fire, which is just enough to take out that remnant of that uh, particular ooze. So that happens, one is gone. I punch it, and then I'm like, "Fuck you!" I'm just like. Oh. <laughs> it just lights up and just you, there's this horrible acrid smell as it just burns into just disgustingness. I turn around and I'm like, they can die. <laughs> That's good. 
All right, uh, next up is going to be the ooze block next to Cruz. Um, it is going to attempt to move forward and engulf you as well. So it should be on top of you, but it's not. Can I move it to the top? Let me see if I can move I'm it. I'm sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. Go away. Hang on. Let me see if I can move this to the top real quick. There we go, to front. What you're saying is you're making Cruz the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make Cruz the bottom. I just said Cruz is just a bit of bottom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cruz, go ahead and make a deck saving throw. Oh, man. I'm not good at dexterity. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's a three. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. um, you are engulfed. This is like the third time I've been in golf. <laughs> I've been in golf multiple times. Cruz, you've been in four, th three times. <laughs> Fuck off, Jen. No. I was waiting for her to say it. I was going to say it. I was going to say it, but you beat me to it. Oh my god. <laughs> Cruz, you take 19 points. 19 points of acid damage. Yeah, I got engulfed in Barovia. I got engulfed in water. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're just keeping up with tradition on this yeah, third God. season. You gotta get engulfed. Just yep. Four monsters. <laughs> they just think you're a snack. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, next up uh, is gonna be Alina. Fuck. I'm gonna take out my other axe. <laughs> I got two. <laughs> and do a Just keep going through the arsenal. Uh, let me see. That is a little plus nine to hit. Don't but, forget your inspiration. Okay, uh, it's uh, it's uh, fuck. What's the inspiration? Six. I broke a five, but that's still a fourteen. With the uh, subtracting the inspiration from it. I don't know what the inspiration is. It's D six. There we go. Very nice. So it does okay. hit, um, does no damage, but it splits the oblek, oozblek, into two. And I'm gonna hit again or try. And to uh, Cruz, you are you are freed from it. Um, which one are you hitting? Are you hitting the one that's right next to you, uh, or the one next to Cruz? It doesn't matter because they rolled a natural seventeen. Okay. All right. You're good, guys. That's too good. <laughs> so twisted. Um. Sorry, one second. I gotta I write heard this down. Voice. Not bad. All right, all right. So next up is. Oh, is that it for you, Alina? Are you. You done? Oh, that's, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. So next up is gonna be Cruz. All right, Alina. How do we feel about um, tentacle damage? Hentai. <laughs> no. I mean, if that's what you're into. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use arms of bizarre. Guys, <laughs> you're in the rain. At some point, oh. like our like. Our following is gonna make a drinking game. Jen says four hentai. <laughs> Makes like a bad sex joke. <laughs> Just not mashes two words together. Yes. Quick. Right, it's gonna give our our viewers alcohol poisoning, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and uh, what do we do? You have to make a save. Yeah, they have to make a um um a fucking a fucking. Fuck, wait. <laughs> fuck save? I don't want to use this anymore. I want to use this as mockery on the one right in front of me. And okay, the one right in front of you. All right. Um, go ahead and do vicious mockery. Uh, what do I have to do? Wisdom save. Wisdom save. It's all save. That is a five minus three, so that's a two. And nice. Go ahead and, uh, oh my god. Literally, every single time I have to roll dice, my life, like, crumbles to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Six damage. Six damage. Um, what kind of damage? Six, um, psychic. Okay. It's looking pretty bad. 
All right, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to hit it with the blood spear. Poke it. Poke it with a shot. Back. Well over twenty. To hit. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine the the fucking sound effects on your voice. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to do? Uh, that's all I got. All right. So next up is going to be the Uzblick next to Alina, who's going to do... Don't, uh, don't do um, it. It is going to attack Alina. It's small, it's though. Okay. No, which is going to be a 19 to hit. Yeah. <laughs> all right. The ooze can't engulf you because I think now it's small size. Yeah, I would say at this point, like, it's kind of... It's really tiny. I just didn't want to make it too small because it's not going to fit right. General for um, uh, ooze splitting is like one size category down. So if it started as large, then medium and uh, It is uh, 15 points of acid damage that you take. Okay. I guess I'll take it. Alright. Um, and that's it for that turn. Mira, you are up. Me. I'm going to use Cold and Dead on the one in front of us. Go ahead. Oh, it needs to make a oh. thing, a save. What's the save? A 15. That is another one. That's a five minus three, so it's two. Fuck yeah. Kill it. Not maybe. Uh, math numbers. 18. 18 points of damage. That is more than enough. You managed to take that one out. Woo! That one is gone. Mita is just dominating this whole thing. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Anything else you want to do? Oh, high five Baron. Okay. High five, Varen. High five, Varen. That's <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next up is Varen. Hi. Uh, I'm going to scoot to flank with Alina and swing at the friend. All right. Uh, with the torch. Fuck. No. <laughs> That's a natural one. Very nice. That is a crit. Okay. So we're going to roll that default. Two plus... Five, seven damage. All right, seven damage, which is enough to take that one out. Cool. So this one is gone. Uh, second attack, or, uh, or third attack, I should say. Mm-hmm. That's another natural one. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. I, I like that your your crit luck is rolling over to nat ones now. <laughs> uh, six, plus damage. Plus five is eleven. Divided by two is five. It only needed two. Oh. Ooh. So that one is done, and you finally have managed to defeat the ooze black. I like. I look at the torch. I put it out on the probably very damp floor. Oh, this. Uh, this whole room is just filled with this disgustingness. Oh. Like a acrid smell from that torch burning this disgusting ooze away. Let's get out of this shitty, nasty room. Moment. All right, first, let's go ahead and take a break. Oh, yeah. I'll pick up my I... axe, just in case. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick 10-minute break. We shall be back shortly.
and we are back. So you managed to defeat the horrible Oozbleck. What would you like to do now? Um, drink a health potion because I'm hurting. I am hurting, hurting. I would like to find the captain's cabin. Ooh. I'd like to grab my ass. Your ass? Yes. Your ass? I'm gonna grab my ass because <laughs> nobody else is grabbing this fucking ass and it's clearly an ass made for grabbing. <laughs> Are you asking the group? Are you asking the group to grab your ass? Okay. <laughs> Alright, um. So, um, uh, crews. Um, so there's either the stairs going downward, and there was also the area that was across from this room on the other side of the, of the ship. So which way are y'all going? I thought the other side. Yeah. I thought they were going up for a second, and I was like, I want, I want the stairs. I was like, no. Those are going down. Okay, so you guys are heading down here, and you find another door. Check, you said check for traps? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and make your check. Where is Mira? Mm. I will help. Oh. PB was trying to do math for Tilly. <laughs> I'm here. I'm coming. I'm limping a little, you know, I'm in pain and whatnot. Do you want uh, my healing potion? <laughs> oh, no, I have one. I, I think she just took her. Oh, I got Great American Cookies at the mall. This is good. I got Great American Cookies. Um, They're good. I, I Great American Cookies. I mean, I don't... It's, <laughs> Uh, it's a sweet a toasty uh, 25. 25. Um, 25. You do not see any checks and it appears to be unlocked. Woo! Alright. So you guys head into the area that Cruz recognizes as the captain's quarters from what is left of it. Um, this whole area is also piled with garbage and debris, um, smashed furniture, torn sacks, shattered crates. This is the stuff, uh, right? I, Does it look like we know ship terms? It's the back of the ship. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I had sure. To learn, uh, I had to learn ship terminology, um, A, from, a, from an old book, and B, for a camp my, my first campaign that I ran. Let's okay. This book. What? This book. Uh, the True Confessions of Charlotte Doyle. Oh, gross. <laughs> All right. Um, and you see another staircase that descends downward. Um. Did she tell us where the box was in her quarters? Um, she did not. But um, go ahead and make a perception check. Whoever wishes. All right. Fuck. Fuck! Why am I roll sucking tonight? I roll That's a three. ten. They don't suck when it counts. <laughs> Anybody else? I rolled a ten. Thirteen. Thirteen. You said thirteen? Seventeen. For Varen? Seventeen. Okay, for, um, Varen, you're the first to pick up with your awesome hearing that you hear kind of wet, sloppy footsteps <laughs> somewhere Fuck down me. below. Fuck me. You can hear it kind of coming from below the stairwell. So I hold out an arm, and I jerk my thumb toward the stairwell, I'm just like, something's down there. Um, give me a second. Everything is dim light in here, right? Yeah. There I'm is no... i um, an action to become invisible. Ooh. Uh, you can just become invisible however you want to now. <laughs> my god. Freaking monks. Close up shadows. Um, that... Oh, it's the cloak. Okay. No, it's not the cloak. It's like it's 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 a feature called cloak of shadows. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mira has the actual cloak of shadows. Um, okay. But yeah, I I remain invisible until I make an attack, cast a spell, or an, or or are in an area of bright light. So I'm invisible forever now. <laughs> um. Varen disappears. Yep. Y'all know Baron what happened. Baron. Well, I think, I think I'm gonna go check it out. Okay. Um. And I'm just gonna do a little sneak down there. Sneaky um, sneak. How the fuck does invisible work? You have. I think it's advantage on stealth. It doesn't say anything about advantage on stealth. No. I All think right. it's whoever's looking for you has disadvantage. Yeah. So okay. I'm mistaken. Yeah. Um, okay. So roll that stealth. It could go ahead. Which is a toasty. It's a toasty what? 
19. 19. Okay. Um, you managed to sneak down there and kind of take a peek. And it, see, the stairwell opens up to another room where you see two types of creatures that I'm not sure you've ever seen before. They appear to be some sort of aquatic um, creatures. They're Sahuagin, but I don't know if they're, they're actually seen Sahuagin before, but they're basically like fish people. Oh, Angry yeah. fish people. Um, and you see two of them sort of lounging around. Um, one of them seems to be eating a raw fish. The other one's just kind of picking at its, um, um, at its spear. I rolled a uh, on a nature check. Do I know what they are? Um, yeah. Uh, what did you, what did you say? You got a what on a nature check? I will say that you probably picked it up in one of the books that you've been reading through at the libraries. Oh, that's a so Okay. Cool. Uh, what, are they speaking a language that I understand? Um, there are... No. And they're not really talking that much at, at, at the moment. They're just kind of, seem to be kind of bored, just sort of hanging around. One of them's very focused on the fish that he's eating. Okay. Um, uh, how, is there anything else in the room that I can see that, that might be interesting? Um, you do see that there is a rope ladder leading down in the opposite corner of that room from where you are in the stairwell. That's the only exit? What's that? That's the only exit. Um, that is... Uh, no, there's the door also that leads out. Is there a map for this room? Yes, actually. Let me move you over to the next room. So I will say... Baron, you are over here now. So you can kind of peek out okay. and oh. see. Yeah. Oh. I see. And the Sawagan are at the table? Um, let me see. Hang on one second. Let me see where they are. Fun fact, Sawagan are like the first monsters you fight in the D&D online game. Yeah. I have not D &D played D&D online, D &D online in, uh, in, since it first came out. That is how long that... It was like, disappointing to me. Yeah, it wasn't great. Um, but yeah, that was the last time I ever played that game. So you see the two of them there. So I'm going to scoot back up to... Oh, I found it. Yay. Um, and I'm going to uh, re revisible myself. Um, <laughs> revisible? Become visible up here. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and in a very, very quiet voice, because I'm Jen is going to talk normally, but Varen is not. Um, there are two Sawagan down there. They don't seem to have noticed us. There's a door and there's a rope ladder. I can probably get down the ladder without being seen, but they don't seem to be... They're just chilling. Should we just get the box and leave? I don't well, think the people that were on the ship are gonna be alive. Well, we know one's alive. Yeah. At least. We don't know how, though. I mean, the ship is kind of fucked. Well, we don't Maybe know that being held alive captured? per se. We know that her, that her essence or spirit is on this plane. Could be a ghost. So we should, should at least we... check. Yeah, let's find this box first since we're already here. Yeah. yeah. Let's check. Let's check the room. We we'll check it quietly. Um, yeah. okay. In the while you guys are checking, I might go down that ladder and see what I can find. Okay. Okay. The worst that can fucking happen, right? Don't <laughs> fucking say that. Do not fucking say that, girl. <laughs> <laughs> we we've got this much. I'm gonna re invisible and, and try and go down the ladder. All right. Uh, so because I can fucking do that. Let me see. Monks of the ship. Like the the way of shadow is fucking weird. <laughs> One second. One second. Ooh, one moment. Oh, one second. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. And where did you roll for stealth? <laughs> Before or now? Uh, just I uh, will use the self same stealth roll if you want. But they have disadvantage to see me. Sure. Yeah. My cat was meowing. 
Um, we'll meow back. No. <laughs> That's gonna make him meow louder. <laughs> what did you roll? What was your previous roll? 19. 19? Okay, cool. I can roll again. No, no, it's fine. Um, all right, so you managed to pick your way through, now you're heading down the rope ladder? Yep. At some point while you're in the room, um, one of the um, Suagan uh, basically kind of jolts up and just kind of listens around. I freeze. But you, don't, you freeze. Um, after a moment, it kind of just goes back to doing what it was doing. And you manage to make it to the rope ladder. Is it like right. the next room to the left? Should I just scoot to the left? Um, if you want to, yeah. Left, left, yes. Left. There it is. Left, left. Okay. Ooh, there's a lot here. So, in this room, let me... Hang on one second. I'll, I'll wait to actually explore until they do their box thing, though. Okay, well, um, go ahead and make a perception check real quick. Right. Natural 20. Ooh, very nice. Um, you were able to see uh, several things in this room. Um, you see uh, a few more of these Sahu again um, milling about. That is not what I needed to do. I need to make it to a different layer. There we go. You see another one that's holding a spear. Uh, a couple of those, and then you also see uh, there appears to be another one that seems to be more heavily armed, and they're just kind of uh, chattering in their language amongst themselves. And then towards the back, you also see that there is a, another one that appears to be holding a trident, and she is currently bowing before a um, elven woman who is, um, who is, uh, kind of murmuring to herself in a strange language that almost sounds like water bubbling. Oh, oh it's God, fucking this bitch got awkward, fucking isn't it? Fucking awkward. I don't know oh. what anybody just said. Do you, this this bitch got fucking man. Man. Do I recognize the woman? Do you recognize the woman? No. I don't know. birds around her. Uh, By description, no? Yeah, what does she look like? Um, she looks like um, a sort of tan skin, long, wavy, dark hair. Um, very damp all, um, all around. And bloodshot eyes. Her skin um, just looks like it looks ill, almost like, what is it, jaundiced? It just looks like, it looks ill. It doesn't look like she's wear, very well. And she's just kind of rocking and murmuring. And you do notice that in her hand, she is holding something. Can I it's tell what it fucking is? fucking Genevieve? Uh, it appears to be some sort of figure. And you do notice on the floor by her feet are... A pa or is a paper bird, or at least how many did you send two? <laughs> Three. I think you said two, <laughs> but no, there wait. you do see that there are a couple that are unopened at her feet. Does this appear to be a religious ritual? Um, make a religion check. Oh. What did you say? Sorry, twelve. Um, not that anything that you have experience with. Um, it doesn't look like anyone here is, is like, worshipping, other than, like, there's that one Sohuagin who's just sort of bowing. Okay. Um, I'm going to sneak back up. And I'm going to sneak back up. Um, and I get back up and I'm like, so I have good news and bad news. Bad news first. Uh, the bad news is that um, homegirl's wife made friends with a bunch of Sawagan. The good news is that I found Jinvir. That's something. Uh, there's some more bad news. Um, oh. There oh. are several. Ar there are several of them. They are armed. They seem to be holding her in some reverence or some position of power 
Uh, she has not opened the birds we sent. And she told me... I couldn't get a good look at it, but it was some kind of figurine. Is it possible she's the best? It's possible, I suppose. I mean, that's uh, definitely the figurine she stole from the island. Do any of you speak Aquan? No. Comprehend languages! <gasps> <gasps> Comprehend languages! <laughs> um, there are, but again, there are two of those Sawagin in between us and her. Mara, doesn't that cloak let you become invisible? Yes, like this. <laughs> go and comprehend that language. I'm gonna follow her, also invisible, because okay. I'll have both of you make uh, another stealth check. I'm going to I'm going to burn two points to to do pass without trace. Okay. Uh, On everyone. Too, so. Shit, that's a lot. So without pass without a trace, that's twenty seven with thirty seven. Oh Jesus. Uh, I rolled a nineteen plus nine is a twenty eight plus ten is a thirty eight. All right. Damn. All right. So you both had managed to easily pick your way between the two. Um, like Sahugan. Sahugan, Sahugan, whatever. Um, in the next room. Yeah, you can move. Here, I'll move you over a little bit. So there's that. And you go down the rope ladder. And um, you are here. So you're going to comprehend languages. Um. The Sohogan are, are not really conversing about anything significant. They're mostly just kind of grumbling. Um, sounds like they're, they're, they've been waiting for a while for something to happen. And uh, they're just kind of grumbling to each other. When is it going to happen? Um, and, the other, and one of them is just kind of shushing them and just uh, basically telling them to, to be quiet. And then the Jinvir, who is murmuring uh, in Aquin you hear her it's almost like she's conversing with someone and saying things like they're coming soon i'll have them here soon yikes, yikes. whoa um okay question do i know i can at least whisper I'd be like oh my god Baron, what the fuck <laughs> um, <laughs> I would say you can probably mouth it. <laughs> okay. Um, do I get the sense that she's talking about? Except that you're both invisible, so that's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, but with it, with right Path Without Trace, I'll say that you can probably actually, yeah, very if get, rightly. If you find her ear and just go like this, <laughs> she's gonna like write it on her hand, like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do I get the idea that she's talking about us or about some or about someone else that's coming? Yeah. Um. Insight? Question mark. Yeah. Insight. Thank you. Um, but I don't know shit. I that's a natural twenty. Ooh. Nice. Um, you get the feeling that that she's talking about you or whoever was aboard the the, the boat that they drew to them. I, I like I turn to Mera. And I'm just like like fucking us. <laughs> <laughs> Grab your hand and just go, yeah, okay, sense up, sense up. Um, should we, like, take it? Just wink and grab her? I, uh, like, I haul her back up. <laughs> um, all right, you guys. Are you going all the way back to the other room? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, again, you managed to pick your way back to the other um. room. I'm gonna stay invisible because I feel real sneaky right now. I'm still invisible too. Um, <laughs> so Cruz and Alina, you both jump as like voices just suddenly appear. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> right. um, they're waiting for us. I think we have to go. Like go, go down, down or go? Go down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> um it doesn't seem like they know that we're coming yet. Or that they know that we're here yet. We, that they, like, they know we're coming. Okay. Could we have been making, like, investigation checks to find it? Yes. While they're doing okay. this, go ahead and make your investigation check. <laughs> we're chilling. <laughs> okay, that's an ass check. Uh, a 15. I got a 5. Alina was checking. Cruz, you're just chilling. 
Like, <laughs> You're just picking at your nails. Arm, it's like, just because you have one arm doesn't mean you can't check. He's like, no, I'm good over here. I'm resting, you know. <laughs> uh-huh. For arthritis. Um, <laughs> you do manage to find a captain's log uh, in the debris. And um, you, it does seem like it's, uh, you find like a ledger as well. Um, but the it does seem to be written in common. Yes, I don't have a handout, sorry. Uh, but basically the log um, is detailing the ship's last voyage, um, including a, an account of a terrible storm that threw the Emperor of the Waves off course and basically um, almost wrecked it on this island out of nowhere. Um, and then uh, you flip through the entries and the last one describes that there was a shrine that they found on the island and some of the crew brought back some plunder uh, including a, a figurine that Genevieve got for her wife. Do I not find the box? Um, you do not find the box. Box. Hmm. I was find the box. the box, but I found a captain's log and a ledger. Oh, I'm going to keep them to blackmail her, okay? <laughs> Can I see real quick? And the ledger just, like, floats a little bit. <laughs> I'll look around. I'll look around while, like, y'all are doing your thing. I was gonna read it. I'll fucking take my little snack break. He little snack break. He needs to keep his insulin up, you know? <laughs> uh, investigation says so it 22 find anything? Uh, in the room? Yeah. Um, no, you find, like, the same debris, and there's just, like, the, there's ledgers and stuff, but nothing significant. You don't find the box. It's not here, you guys. Uh, it's fucking below, isn't it? You're probably gonna have to fight the scene, and... Mm. <laughs> well, maybe... <laughs> well, <laughs> you know. Stop. Stay. Um, <laughs> um, well, do they know how many we have? Because maybe we can, like... How many do they have? You didn't oh, count? No. <laughs> there are one, two, three, four, five, and then the woman, right? Uh, we could take them. I mean, um, yeah, definitely. We face worse. Yeah. I think. I think. I mean, we face a vampire. Well, here's what we should do first off, right? We should, tr we should see if we can sneak past or somehow distract the, the Sawagan on the, on the middle level. I can look like a Sawagan? What if... Well, we have passed without traits. It would be almost impossible to get past them, though. Because we still have it up right now. We just need to we hurry could, up. We could all look like a Sawagan. I mean, we're invisible, so... Yeah, well, uh, me and Cruz can look... <laughs> Why is your name my heart, El Grupa? <laughs> That's actually a good idea. We should do that. Okay, well, we'll be... Um... Rothen? What is Sahagan? Sahagan. Girl, where am I? Sahagan. <laughs> uh huh. You still think about Grutha. <laughs> is that with the, the hat of the skies? Yeah. Uh, Do we know what a Sahagan looks like? Uh, make a intelligence check. You can always sneak partway down the stairs. That well, crazy. that's a natural 18 plus 14. Zero. Um, I would say that you probably have a general idea of what one looks like. Okay, I will turn into one and show it to Cruz. Eh? Eh? That looks good to me. I'll turn <laughs> But like, make it like, you can copy my homework, but make it look different. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Do All right. I don't know how to speak the hog though, so we'll just we'll just not see it. <laughs> it's like maybe you get some fish and pretend you're eating it. Um, but you know, first, but, like but let Mara and I go go down first so that we can block, or so, so that we can get a closer look down there and I'll already be down there if something goes. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. no doubt. No All doubt. right, okay. get it. So we're gonna go back down stairs. Okay. All right. Yeah. And downstairs some more. Um, I'm gonna position myself right here so that if anything tries to go for the ladder, I can fucking murder it. Okay. 
be like right here. Yeah. Okay. And Cruz and Alina, you are both dressed as Suwagen. So where are you guys going? I'm gonna go down. Hidden down. Go down the stairs. All right. Not stealthily, I guess. You're just clomping down the stairs. And as soon as you enter the room, the two Suwagen there um, immediately just jump up and grab their spears and point them at you. And you hear them uh, yelling at you um, in a guttural tone. I will yell back in a guttural tone. Like, whatever they said, I'm going to yell it back. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, make a, I would say make a deception check. Oh, my God. And make an intimidation it check. Broke. Oh, I should have been up there. <laughs> Can I make an intimidation check? Um, deception first. <laughs> Can I help her by also being in disguise? Deception is... Oh, that's 16, so that's, uh... 18. 18. I have that advantage on a roll. No, I used it already. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. Um, they just kind of look at each other and are just, uh, curious, and they just, they are, they just continue yelling at you. They're just confused because you're not speaking a language they understand, and they kind of creep closer with their spears. Well, I'm just repeating what they said. <laughs> but your accent is weird, Alina. And they just kind of creep forward. A different group. <laughs> Maybe they are, but they're just still like, you're not one of us, or whatever they're saying, but they're just gonna continue kind of, uh, Barking at you. Can I make an intimidation check now? I'm gonna yeah, bark go ahead and make the it. same thing. Go ahead. Can I come up and like... <laughs> oh my god, you guys! Uh, <laughs> 23. 23? Um, are you... Are you just yelling back at them? Yeah, if they have their spears, I'm gonna yell back and just kind of intimidate them. And okay. Like, uh, yeah. They kind of just kind of reeled back a little bit and back up slightly, but then they're, they're still holding their spears and they're still uh, demanding the same thing from you. Like, I don't know what um, they want. And they, they look at each other and they just kind of are eyeing both of you very strangely. Um, I don't know if I can do it to do. And, um, let's see. I'm just going to fight them all before. I will say, uh, let's see, uh, Jen and, uh, oh my gosh, Mira, you both can hear them kind of barking, uh, down below, and so can one of the, uh, Sogan down there who just kind of is curious and just kind of turns back. The other ones are kind of just paying attention, um, to what they're doing, what the, um, uh, Genvir is doing, but one of the, uh, other Sogan, um, starts making their way over and trying to basically check out what is going on. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go upstairs. Stay. I'm gonna sit down oh. here. Okay. And I'm oh. gonna try and get closer to the, to the woman. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start swinging, guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna draw my scimitar. Wait, I'm gonna go, like try and get closer to the. And do I hear what the they're saying still? Um, you hear them, and um, if you're are you casting comprehend languages? It lasts an hour, so... Oh, cool. Uh, well, I'm assuming that you'd have to... Do you have to cast it once per language? Because no, you... They, language. Is, it any, is it all languages? Okay, cool. Uh, in that case, uh, they are basically demanding to see who, who they are. They're like, who are you guys? You're not from our clan. Who are you? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, Did you draw your weapons? Oh, God. Oh. Ooh, I, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna undo my cloak and cast suggested. Okay, go ahead and on which one? Ooh boy, um, this one, this one. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna tell them they're coming up. Does it have to do a save? Uh, yes, it's gonna be a wisdom save. Okay, um, no. that is not gonna save. That's gonna be a seven. Fuck yeah. Um, I'm... Okay. Good oh boy. <laughs> okay, with this, I'm gonna tell him to... What's a great suggestion? Please constrain your friend and go downstairs and tell them everything's okay. Please, please, please. <laughs> um, do you want him to restrain his friend or go downstairs? Because he can't do both. <laughs> can't do both. Go downstairs and tell them everything's okay. And I'm gonna tell him, like... 
All right, so this, all right, so this one immediately just turns, kind of gets a blank look in its face, and then just turns, puts down its uh its thing, and goes downstairs. Um, and then, Varen, you see that Suagin come through and start to walk over to this one and basically tell it, uh, start speaking to it in its language. Do they seem to calm down a little bit, or do they seem to get more riled up? Um, the other one just seems confused at the moment. Okay. This one is just wondering what the fuck is going on. I'm gonna continue trying to get closer. Did you tell us to restrain this one? Yes! Oh. You restrain! You I restrain! restrain. Alright, make your, make your attack roll. Um, plus what? While it is distracted by Mira suddenly it appearing. Plus strength to like restrain it and like shove it like like, close its mouth? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's basically you're grappling it. So my plus strength, okay. Um, 16. 16. Um, alright. You managed to, actually, I think it has to do a little closer. No. Alright, you managed to, uh, basically kind of cover its mouth and just hold it tight. Mm -hmm. And now what do you want to do? Uh, Stab it! Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Throat. <laughs> I, don't feel, throat. I don't feel great about killing it in this situation. But oh, I, but you killed yourself. <laughs> okay, that was different. That was me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Shit. I guess I'll kill it. Okay. You're gonna try to stab it? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, now I feel bad now. <laughs> no, too late. <laughs> too late. Too late. <laughs> could, uh, could I cast it just again on it? <laughs> Can you cast it again? Again? Oh no, I cannot. Cause oh, never mind. I'm Cause yeah, it's concentration. Shit, kill it. As All right, go ahead and make your attack roll while it's restrained. Fuck, fuck, man. I wish you could speak its language. Oh, man, oh man. That's a twenty-one. Oh, that's gonna hit. Oh man, that hits. All right. Will it be crit if it's grappled and like right there? Um, I don't know. Let me see what it says for grapple. I mean, it's up to you. But like I feel like if I'm holding it like this, like grappling it, sh closing its mouth, I feel like someone could just stab it in the throat. I don't know. That's just me. I will say I will give him advantage on the hit, but I don't think it's a crit. But he already hit, so it doesn't. Really... But unless you want to roll again and see if you get a crit. Sure, uh, I'm. I'm not opposed. <laughs> okay. Though. Okay. It's not a crit. All right. So go ahead and make your damage. Oh wow, that was lame. That's an eight. Eight. All right, everybody, roll initiative for whoever's in this fight. So roll. Oh boy. Um. Wow, that was really bad. Natural twenty. All right. Uh, fucking six. Uh, nine. Nine. Mira, <laughs> nine for Lena. Cruz, um, six. Six. All right. So first up is Mira. What would you like to do as Alina is holding this thing here? Oh my god, I feel so bad. Um, okay, I'm gonna kill it. I'm just like, I'm so sorry. So bad. Hopefully you're not. I'm so sorry. Okay, and then, uh, the a synthetic twenty hit. Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alina, I'll try and hit as careful as I can. This is gonna be a big one. Oh god, I feel so bad. Do it. Um, that's a lot of sixes, y'all. So for sneak attack, seven uh, plus six, four, <laughs> you know, 13, 19, 20, and 22. Um, D4. So 22? So far for sneak attack. Okay. Um, plus four plus another number that I can't see because I'm on my thing. Oh, so so ten. So plus ten. Okay. 30. I already got the twenty-two. So okay, and then that's it for that okay. attack. Is it still alive? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's do that bonus action. I'm so sorry again. <laughs> so you attack twice then. No, it's just bonus action. Sorry. Yeah, bonus action. So 23 to hit. What's that? D4. 
Um, oh, shit. Uh, so another 10 points of damage. Bless you, Athosway. Uh, another 10 points of damage. All right. All right. Next up is Alina. Uh, should I get a bandage because I'm grappling it? Um, actually, I... Or disadvantage? I Let me see, because I can't remember if that does... Just beat up on it. How do you hold it? Uh, let's see. You can use attack. We can use attack. We'll go attacks. <laughs> Isn't that every episode you of See, it doesn't Yeah. Uh, let's see. It doesn't actually say, so it's just a normal hit. Okay. Just, I imagine you're just like punching. <laughs> can I, like, try to, like, hit it with a weapon? How? Because I'm assuming you're holding it with like at least one hand, so. Okay, so I'll just try to like hit it with. I don't know, keep punching it, I guess, with one hand. Does that All just right. plus my strength? Um, yeah, if it's just a. Oh, it's a plus nine to hit anyway, sorry. I just saw my unarmed attack. Uh, the first one is a synthetic 20. Very nice. And the first one is a 21. 21. Uh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage. As you just continue to punch this poor <laughs> swoggin in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, next up is going to be the swoggin who's going to attempt to break your grapple. Is it opposing check? Um, yeah. Uh, what is strength? 19. Is it a, a strength or athletics? Yeah. Or? Yeah, strength. Don't Fuck me now. <laughs> uh, well, that is a sweet, sweet twenty-four. Very nice. It can't, it can't get loose. It just tries desperate, desperately to to get out. It's bleeding profusely, and you see terror in its eyes. Actually, you don't because it's not facing you, but everybody else sees it the terror in its eyes. It makes me feel better about pushing it in the face. I can't see the terror in its eyes. Uh, next up is Cruz. Uh. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm really you? sorry about this guy. I am. <laughs> I do I he didn't, he didn't even track us. He did it. <laughs> he was going to. All right. My first attack is 16 plus 10 to hit. 26. All right. That hits. My second attack is 14 to hit. Oh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Did you catch that? What's that? Sorry. It was 14 to hit. That hits, yes. All right. Um, I don't think 13 to hit. Um, that actually hits. Oh, this okay. doesn't have a hard AC. Weak boy. Let's get it, weak boy. All right. That is seven, and then eleven. 18, and then 10, so 28. Excuse me. 28? Mm -hmm. Okay, that is enough to kill this again. and as it dies, you hear this guttural um, sound as it decides to say something, and no one else understands it except for Mira, where it basically says, why, brother? Because you both look like Suwagen. Oh, no! Of course, you, don't, you guys don't understand. Only Mia is the one who understands what it says. Here, what did it say? Uh, you're just crying. Uh, <laughs> I'm just in time for but the fucking eyes of March. I'll like throw a dead body. I'm kidding. It is just in time for the fucking eyes of March tomorrow. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 to uh, uh, if I understand what it is, I'm not and like, your two. brother. And like turn into a leaf. <laughs> I'll just like slowly just drop its body. Do you know if I could, like, bring it back to life if I heal it? <laughs> um, I will say, like, you'd have to revive it. It's dead. Okay. Oh. Man. <laughs> I hated that. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention about the room that you're in, Jen, is the, the cargo hold is flooded. Yep. So, it, and it's tilted so that, um, the whole ship is, like, tilted. Um, towards the front. So as you start to get closer, you find that you're you're wading in water up to your knees. So I'll say like about halfway from the halfway point to the end or to the top of the ship yep. is uh, going to be difficult terrain. 
because it's getting deeper and deeper water. Not that it really affects you much with your gazillion feet of movement, but it'll affect everybody else. Yeah, I'm going to s sneak. Can we go over here. Sneak over here. I'm just going to weave my way around them. All right. And I'm going to see if I can get a look at the figurine in her hand. Okay. Um, so you get close enough and to kind of peer, and you see that ginger has got kind of this blank look in her eyes, but the figurine um, looks to be that of a mermaid. It's the Starbucks logo. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the overwhelming smell of coffee. Yeah. Um, let's just drink in Starbucks cup. Okay. I don't know why I drink it, because it just tastes burnt. Uh, what kind of read am I getting from her face? Does she seem cunning, sad, you know? She, uh, gonna make an insight check. Okay. See, 18? Oh, wait, hang on. 18. 18. Um, on first look, it, she looks, seems kind of blank, but as you kind of just glance in her eyes... Um, you see that there seems to be kind of this weird sort of bluish glow to the back of them. Um, and there is just kind of this creepiness about her gaze. I assume she's possessed. From your experiences with possession, you can probably tell that she's possessed. Okay. Um, all You've right. had plenty of experiences with this. Yeah, you, 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 fuck yeah, I sure do. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to retreat just a little bit um, to the side of the ship, kind of like away from her a little bit, mm -hmm. like over here-ish. Actually, no, I'm gonna stay there. Um, and earing up, I just say like very quietly, possessed. <laughs> possessed. Yes. Does that mean she's possessed or that the lady's possessed? I'm not possessed. Aren't we all possessed? No, I mean, you two were, <laughs> and, and look where it got us alive. Oh, and friends. <laughs> okay, so let's go back down. Yeah, I'm gonna go back invisible and go down. Cheers. Um, uh, maybe do does their disguises look like the? They they look like Sohu again, but they anybody don't speak the language. Fucking like greater restoration, remove curse. Um, no. What? Don't I have, like... That's, like, mass healing, right? No? No. What was, no. What's in the ring? Oh, yeah, you have um, a, a healing spell, but not a, a remove curse spell. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't have anything like that either. You could knock Do her I, out and then bring my her back. experience, what, uh, what do you have to do to dispossess someone? Um, I was, I was making our counter check real quick. Eleven. Actually, no. I'm I'm gonna use my advantage on that. Cool. Seventeen. Seventeen. Um, Thanks, Grimlock. It depends. It really depends. If it's uh, a possession that's more of a nature of a curse, um, you would have to do remove curse. In some cases, it might just be breaking a connection that it might have with something. The figurine. Does the figurine seem to be, uh, like, giving off any sort of, like, magical energy? Um, if someone has to check magic, they can figure it out. What are you doing? I'm telling you to smack it out of her hand. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were, like, oh, a fly. Going, going like, to... swatting a fly. Oh, I have uh, to check magic. Um, yeah, you can't really tell if there's anything magical energy, energy coming off of it, but if someone wanted to check magic. But she does look like she's gripping it very hard. Varen, don't you have something about curses with the icon of Ravenloft or something? No, I have the icon of Ravenclaw. Um, Ravenclaw. Or the holy symbol. Wait, no, I have the holy symbol. I have the holy symbol. What does but that do? Uh, nothing. Because okay. <laughs> it just it's hold vampire, turn undead in sunlight. So I, um, I like I, I radio. I think I'm just gonna yank out of her head and smash it. Oh, yeah. Yankee, 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 Yankee. Wait, get her too. Don't leave it behind. Okay, I'm gonna regret this. Uh, which side of her is the figurine on? It's um, she's holding on her right hand. Okay, 
So but she's kind of got both hands on it, but she's the right hand seems to be dominant. Am okay. I munching too loud? No. No, no, you're good. Okay, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like, you know, slip my gauntlets back on, all that good shit. I'm gonna like, wait. I'm gonna take a second. I'm gonna breathe. If anyone has any, uh, if, if anyone has any advantages they want to give me, that now is a great time. <laughs> um, <laughs> If anyone has any inspiration to give me, that's a great time too. No. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I can fucking shoot my horn at you while you. Shoot <laughs> <laughs> my horn at you. <laughs> boot, doot, doot, I'm doot. Give you away. Does, does this count as uh, inspiration? <laughs> um, you could do it. You could fight. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that actually count? <laughs> Sure. Yes, For the purposes here, sure. Why not? Um, Silent inspiration. Do I have advantage on a roll if she doesn't see me coming? Um, I will say yeah. Okay. Actually, that's literally in the description of invisibility. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to take a deep breath. And I'm going to grab a grain and just start wailing on it. Okay. Uh, make a strength check. If I come down, just play hot potato with it. <laughs> 17. That is enough. You yank the thing out of her hand, and you see her eyes just kind of go wide, and she kind of see what she's seeing is basically a floating figurine. Actually, because I made the attack, I'm now visible. Oh, no. Okay. Well, then she sees you up here. Her eyes swing to you and swing to the figurine, and you see kind of a little bit of fury uh, into her eyes. It's like, I think I have another attack, right? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Do you have... Yeah, she has attacks. attacks around. I guess. I, yeah, sure. Okay. So I'm going to hit it. Okay. Um... Does a 13 hit? A figurine? Yeah. Okay. Your hand? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna roll some damage. <laughs> You're just punching a stone figurine. Hey, it does, yeah. it does radiant damage. <laughs> 17 radiant damage. 17 radiant damage. Um, awesome. So, as you punch the figurine, you see a chunk of it slide off. And you see uh, Genvir, or whatever she is now, scream. And she looks at you with fury and she says, You will pay for this. Like, that is the most lame thing that I could think of. But she also says, uh, She calls out an Aquan. I'm not done yet. She, okay, but she's still, this is happening. She's calling out uh, an Aquan. All right, um, I'm going to flurry of blows, keep hitting that figurine. All right, go ahead. Well, you know what? I'm going to take yeah. a swing at her. Okay. Uh, no, I'm gonna go figurine, figurine. Okay. Okay. Pick one. <laughs> Which one? Hit her uh, with the figurine. That's the damage synthetic twenty to hit. Synthetic twenty to hit. Oh no, sorry, that's twenty to hit, not damage. Um, nineteen damage to it. Nice. It continues to crack even more, and I want everybody else to make a perception check while she's attacking. Look for these shit. That was a natural one. I'm Hell yeah. The body of the dead guy. Like, oh, shit, that's fucked up. Natural 20. Okay. All right. And what was the damage for the last one? Or was that the last attack? What? Was that the last attack? No. Okay. Um, last attack is, again, a synthetic 20. Mm. And the figure takes 23, uh, 24 more. Which is enough to shatter the figurine. You see Genevieve just sort of go limp and she just falls into the water. PB, or sorry, Mira, you were the first one to pick up the sound of screams coming from somewhere in the distance. Like downstairs distance or? Out distance. Oh, I would tell them. We gotta telling... go. We gotta go, go. And uh, I need everybody to roll initiative because oh, oh you have revealed yourself to all of these no. Suhu again. We gotta oh go! That's your super important one out of the way. Genvir is in the water now. There you go. And in slightly danger of drowning. 
because she's passed out in about two two feet of water. She'll be fine. Um. Okay, so first of all, battle music. All right, so uh, what's everybody's initiative? Uh, mine is twelve. Twelve for Baron. All right. Uh, 15? 15 for Mira. Okay. 17. 17 for Alina. Cruz? Mira's twin. 15. Ooh. 15. But Mira has a higher dex, I think, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I got to roll for a lot of people. So give me a sec. You could just use horror tactics. Um, for this purposes, no. Uh, let's see. Okay. Sorry. No, no, I'm like, oh, I want to see what these purposes are. <laughs> Alright, so... For the purposes of beating our asses. <laughs> <laughs> purposes of beating your asses. Um, okay, fortunately they don't have, like, great decks, so... And I rolled like shit, because I always do. So... I might do something. Um... <laughs> nope. How long does suggestion last? Eight hours. hours. Okay, so this one, let me mark it actually. Um, let me mark it as. Mark. Well, hell, we'll mark it with a heart to know that that one is suggested. Actually, let me change. Oh, I'll leave it at that. And, but I'm still gonna roll a. I'm still gonna roll initiative for him just in case. Oh, I need to change its number because I have two of twos, so we will change that to... We'll do that as one. Oh, wrong thing. Uh, I got too many keyboards. Oh, no. All right, so that is one. That one's suggested. God, I'm rolling so bad! I mean, yay. That's, That's two. Oh, I need to make this one three. All right. All right. Oh my God. I've rolled five three times. This is ridiculous. You're a luck. That that is that is ridiculous. All right. So, first up is gonna be Alina. What are you doing, Alina? Um. So as soon as Mira tells you, um, do you tell him what what you heard? Yes. Okay. So you so she tells you that she's hearing screaming coming from a distance. Uh, we gotta go. Um. Uh, let me see how much. And keep in mind that the area from the midway, um, I'll say, um, I'll say from like the second pole here on is difficult terrain. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna move 15 feet, so about here, and I'm gonna take out my longbow. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. Uh, what You're shooting which one? Uh, I know which one. Uh, my resistance. Okay. Um, so one is a. Uh, one is a forty-five to hit, and the other one's a eighteen to hit. Um, that hits both of them. What does a D8 oh, look like? It's like diamond. Yeah. It's like a diamond. Oh, Risca. It's Risca. Uh, mm. 
<laughs> the first one is damage. You can't do this, Jen. And the other one is 12 points of damage. Or 12, 12 point. points of damage. 20 points of damage. Okay. Um, next up is Mira. Mia. Oh boy. The reaction to that. Just yell, we gotta go. <laughs> we got to go. Get the fuck out. Yeah, we get the Okay, three, so that's 15 so far. 15. Uh, okay, the math number is 15. I'm gonna, okay, right here, I'm gonna go angel. Pew, wings! And I'm gonna fly as far as I can to get the lady. Um, okay. I have no idea how far. Okay, 15, so I still have like half my movement left, so. One, two, three. Okay. That's it. That's all I can do. All right. Uh, next up is Cruz. I still don't have this fucking box, do we? Nope. Uh, no. So not useful. Oh, Man, shit. Is, there, is there like, um, shit. Is there any way I can like investigate in this room for the box? Um, the room that you're in currently? Yeah. You guys have all, um, yeah, go ahead. Um, 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 ten. Ten? You don't see anything in there. It's a pretty clean room. There's just like a table and leftover fish and the dead body. Cool. I'm gonna go downstairs. All right. Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome to the horror. I don't know where downstairs is. Oh, sorry, here. <laughs> go ship, go ship, go ship. <laughs> All right, there you are. Thank you. Um, <laughs> okay, where is this woman? She is in the water at the very end. Cool. Um, I'll, just, ooh, I'll just start investigating over here for the box. <laughs> All right, go ahead and make an investigation check in this area. Okay, that's better. That's a 15. 15 you start digging through the rubble and um over i would say what the crate that uh mira is in you do manage to see a broken crate and in there you see a small blue metal box nice grab it now you'll grab the leg <laughs> i'm grabbing i'm grabbing all right i'm fine alita grab the lady <laughs> okay um, Anything else you want to do for your turn? Um, do I still have an action? Does, does those um, I will say the investigation is probably your action because it's going to take a little bit of time. Okay, um, then I will use my bonus action to... I will. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where is it? Literally, where is it? Okay, mantle of inspiration. Um, I'm going to give all... What are, how many of there are you? Three of you. Um, five temporary HP, and um, you can all use your re immediately use your reaction to move up to your speed without provoking opportunity to attack. Oh, oh someone's got the lady. Cool. Um, I mean, I'm coming. Alina's coming. I'm going to back to the wall right here. So, I well, can hang on. It's not your turn. I thought it was a movement. They can immediately use your reaction. Oh, they can use it right now. Okay. Oh, well, nice. Hit. Oh, fuck. I'm just gonna move in here so I can so I can aggro these guys. Okay. Okay. How far can you move? Here. Just your movement. An extra whole speed? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is a lot. One. Two. I can't do that. <laughs> it's gonna be. I do that later as you guys go. Are you? Do you want me to go for the lady, or do are you going for the lady? Uh, I'll go for the lady. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. okay. No. Can you talk about yourself and don't be doing that. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> anything else you want to do, Cruz? Um, that was my action, my bonus action. So I'm. I, I guess I have a little bit of. I don't really need to use my movement. I know. I have like ten. I'll move up a little bit. I don't know how you do it. 
All right, so next up is going to be the Sumogen Hunter number three, which is this one here, um, which is um, going to go after Varen because you are right there. So it is going to make an attack against you. Do, do. It is, let's see. Um, first thing you notice is that it starts immediately um, kind of foaming at the mouth and going into a frenzy. Oh. And uh, it is going to attack you with its spear twice. Uh, let's see. One is a 19 to hit. And the other one's not going to hit then. So it misses you. Oh, wait. No, it misses you twice. Because you were just dodging and uh, hopping around. All right. Next up is Varen. What? Oh, me? Hi. Okay. Um, all right. Here's what I'm going to do. You said uh, the rager is right below me? Yes. Fuck it. I'll hit him back. All right. All right. Uh, does a 17 hit? Uh, it does. All right. I need him to make a con... Actually, no, I don't. You know what? I wouldn't know. Uh, con save. Con save. Um, that is a 14. Oh, I think that fails, actually. Hang on. Hang on. Sorry, give me a sec, guys. Uh, stunned. Stunned. Okay. Number three is stunned. I'm gonna... Con uh, oh, also damage. I should probably full damage. Yes, yeah, so damage um, is important. He takes 25 damage. 25? All right. I think I might nerf this after session later some more because I'm still doing a lot of damage, but, um... Okay. Not against that other thing you weren't. <laughs> um, okay. Um, second attack against the same guy because I have advantage. 19 hits him. Mm-hmm. He takes... 17. Okay. Uh, key point flurry of blows. Bonch, 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 bonch. Ah, uh, that definitely hits. Five more. Okay. And one final attack. 17 hit, you said? Uh, yes. Okay. 22. Damage. All right. How's he looking? He's looking not happy. Cool. Okay. You took a good chunk out of him. That's my turn. All right. Next up is uh, going to be the suggested one. So, Mira, what would you like to suggest this one do? It's just he's just kind of sitting there and just kind of not really doing anything. Oh man. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all the power. Um. Yeah. What can I tell him what to do? Um. Help us out! Help us, God damn it, please! Um, distract your friends? Yeah, I'm just gonna say that. Distract your friends. <laughs> distract your friends. Okay, so E is going to go over and um, just kind of stand in front of the this one here, um, kind of in between the two of you, and it's just gonna start kind of dancing and waving its arms. <laughs> I love him! Oh no! And just kind of start yelling things in Aqua and random things. <laughs> All right. Next up is going to be um, the this one here, who is just very confused by the one waving in its face, but is going to um, not really. Let's see. Let's see what it's going to do. Yeah, he don't care. So he is going to. Um, are you still invisible, Mira, by the way? No. Did you become visible? No, because I attacked. Oh, wait, no, I okay. did re-invisible myself. You would that, like, would that counter the wing thing? The wing so? doesn't count as an attack, though. I guess I'm still invisible, then. Yeah, if it doesn't, uh, it doesn't count as a, I don't think it's a spell, either. It's just kind of a thing that yeah. you do. All right, so you're still invisible. So in that case, uh, this one's going to go after um, Alina, because you're right there. And it is going to make some attacks against you. And you see that this one also goes into a frenzy. Ooh. Oh god. Come on, guys. Have on Kitty Dodge, don't forget. Yes. Are all of you at full health, by the way? No. no. Uh, I'm at one below full health with, with 10 hit points. Okay. 
Um, that is going to be, um, first attack is eight. Seven plus five, oh my god. Twelve. Twelve, that, that, oh sorry, 17, so oh, 22. 22 yeah. Um, alright, so it hits you with the first one, second one. That's not gonna hit. So it's going to be, you're gonna take some... Some damage. Some piercing damage. Four points of piercing damage. Not half, because I'm not raging. Um, no, not half, because you are not raging. That's it for that turn. The next one is going to be the sorceress, who is over here. And she is this one here. Oh, I should mark it, because you guys can't see, like, the names on the only can you? Uh, nope, you can just see the different pictures. Let me see if I can mark it with some magic. Here, I'll do this little thunderbolt. Okay. Can you see that? And that's that's the sorceress. Um, so she's going to do some magic. And I haven't looked at her spell list in forever, so I probably should have done that. <laughs> All right, what is she going to do? Okay. Let me look this up real quick because I've never, I don't think I've used this spell before. Do, 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 do. I want to get pizza after this. Oh man, I'm, yeah. I'm so hungry. You said I have pizza. pizza so long. I know, right? Where is uh, those? Ooh, Adriana. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> she is gonna cast Chain Lightning. Oh. Alright, Dragon Age. Alright, so. Okay, three bolts leap for the target and can into as many as three other targets. So she can hit all y'all. Are we um, all hitting each other? Oh my god. Are you. Everyone? I think so. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Because isn't it 30 feet from each person? Is, yeah. Person to person? Yeah. Um, all right. Chain lightning. So I need everybody to do dexterity saving throws. She is strong, bitch. I think that was. It's a 21. Dexterity. 19. Uh, 16. Okay. 19. Okay. 21. 12, 21. Crews who fail. Everybody else makes it, um, which is going to be... Um, everyone who makes it, it's going to take half damage. Mary, you going to take none. That's right. Remember this. Remember what you have, child. Remember what you have. Here's the thing. Like, she doesn't have to bother quite to keep writing. I mean, true, but... <laughs> I can't stop visiting this session. I have no idea why. <laughs> is it the ADD? Do you have ADD? I feel like everybody has. Yeah, mine's on the back of your head. I'm just living. You that know? is 54 points of lightning damage. Oh, halved. Really? Cruz, you take the full brunt. Halved for anybody else except for the two who don't take any damage because uh, of your freaking evasion. So half of 54? 27. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh All right. Fucking God. <laughs> All right. Down? What'd you say? Is Cruz down? No, no. I'm not doing great, but I'm not down. Oh, you're fine. <sighs> All right. So next up is going to be... All right, you hear a sort of loud cracking sound and continued screams. The lady and and that's all. The lady Next up is going to be the champion. Uh, oh God! Champ. I hate the name. Try it once. Uh, which is this one here? Uh, let me mark it with um, a sword. Oh no, we'll use that. <laughs> there you go. It's got a. Or no, not that. Oops. Go, go away. Um, that is the champion. 
So the champion is, um, let's see, Mira's invisible, so it's just going to go after uh, Varen, right because you're right up there. So that's going to be, let's see. Where does the difficult terrain start? Um, where Mira is, that like pole right there. Okay, this one also goes into a frenzy, and it is going to. Mm -mm. Mm, let me look up the spell real quick. Sorry. The the what? The fail. <laughs> yeah. No. Say that again. I didn't quite hear you. Um. <laughs> It can't happen if I didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how I treat life, all of life. I'm like, I, I don't see that bills can't hurt me if I don't look at you. Oh my God, look at bills, can't hear you. La, la, that's la, how you get la, your power la. cut off. Uh, <laughs> not if you don't hear them enough. It's going to use this bonus action to cast Blinding Spite Smite, mm. um, which gives it uh, extra damage when it attacks. And then it's going to make a... Um, make a three attacks with its trident. Can it not? Can it just not do that? So, it's gonna be... What if it didn't? Hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty please. That's gonna fail. Oh wait, no, it gets advantage. Never mind, so... No. So, God, I'm rolling like shit! <laughs> I finally got a nat 20 on the last attack, but the other two miss. All right, so that's going to be... You say that like good news. <laughs> it is for me, <laughs> given how shitty I've been rolling. Um, so that is nine points of piercing damage plus some radiant damage. Uh, wrong, wrong die. Hang on. How many is it? God, still like crap. Um, 10 points of radiant damage. Okay. Okay, that was fine, actually. Okay. Um, oh, and you also need to make a constitution saving throw. I wanna. <laughs> uh, natural 20. All right, you're fine. All right, so that is it for the champion. Next up is Alina. Uh, I was going to raid, but I guess. Uh, it's, oh god, it's one whole action, and it's concentration. I have darkness, guys. <laughs> no, he's within range. Uh, what do you think, ladies? I would rather not. No. Uh, okay. For an exaction fucking rage, I'm gonna be like, I can do that too, bitch! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> can you make it there? Frenzy rage. Uh, not to this, the person in front of me. Um, oh, yeah, I can barely see down there. Hang on. Cool. So that within range of the, the lady casting spell, but if y'all need. Dark. Also, I don't think you can get to her with the, uh, without actually, like, dashing. I, yeah, because keep in mind that, that there's difficult terrain at the very end. I know, I meant casting darkness on the oh. sorcerer lady. Oh. What is she, right here? Yeah, right here? I'm, I'm, like, 55 feet away from her, and I need 60. So, yes or no, lady? Could you, because the hard thing is, I wouldn't be able to see where the lady is. Yeah, I think I, I think could angle it, but I wouldn't be casting it on her so she could move out of it. Yeah, I, I would rather be able to see. Oh. Also, I marked where the where the water starts for reference. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to frenzy rage then, uh, and swing twice at this uh, bastard. Okay. God, I forgot how to do my rage. Uh, it's been a minute. It's been a hot minute, guys. We didn't fight at all. I danced last. <laughs> That's right. We forgot that. 
They Cruz and Lena put on a show for some guards and we're just doing some busking outside of the Yeah, one of them is a natural twenty. Awesome. Um, and this is my sun sword. Uh, and the other one's a fourteen. Fourteen? Yeah. Awesome. Uh that hits. Okay. I rolled a three and not the fourteen. This sun sword is fucking um, and it's a deep pen because I'm holding it. Oh, <laughs> um, I can reroll that. Okay, and well, actually, technically, it's a 60 second act, too. Um, great. Let's see it. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, you got okay. Nice math. Um, okay, PB. <laughs> I love it. Sorry. Um, uh, six plus seven, that's thirteen. Yeah. Eight plus seven, that's fifteen. 15. So it's total twenty damage. Twenty-eight. Oh wait, wait! I get to uh, roll. Uh, wait, plus eight. Uh, that is thirty-six because I crit. Plus, plus another eight. All right. So, all right. Um, anything else you want to do? Wait, 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 wait. Did I add this right? The six plus seven is thirteen, right? Plus eight. That's wait. Plus sixteen. That's twenty-nine. <laughs> plus seven. That's tw- 36, yeah. I, had it. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, guys. Alright, alright. Next up is, uh, is gonna be Mira. Mira? Oh, wow. You are okay, still Russian invisible. Go! Russian go! Russian go! Okay, I'm just gonna just, just keep booking it, and I'm just gonna... No, that's the wrong thing. Um, grab the lady! Grab, grab the lady. Her. Okay, make a strength check to pick up this limp woman. Yeah, Mira, make a strength check. Oh, Mira, make a strength check. Uh, we're definitely going to use that lovely advantage that we used in bribery uh, from Gemini Girl. Thank you. Um, if I need it. <laughs> 13? It's my favorite number. You know. 13, okay. Um, you managed to pick her up. You are having difficulty, like, having, like, f- maintaining altitude with her so you're kind of just barely hovering over the water just like holding on to her but you've got her out of the water so you're kind of half dragging her and half flying (laughs) all right anything else you want to do with your turn i cannot move so i'm just gonna be like oh god i'm a ghost cruise you are up okay i want to cast whole weight Wait, 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 All right, I'm going to kind of hold her from this fucking sorceress. All right, what does she have to do? Does it have to be a monster or is... It's humanoid. It's humanoid. It's humanoid. It's a person. Okay. Yeah. Okay, she has to do a save. She has to do a wisdom save. Um, that is going to be... A 19. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. I'll just use my bonus action to slam a potion. All right. Chug, chug. You need That's that. Chug, motherfucker. I have 30 HP. Ooh, you have less than me. Um. The hunter next one is hunter number three, which is the one next to Varen, and that one is still stunned. There is. What's a stun thingy? He's sad. And, he's very sad. Yeah, he's done until the end of your turn. So, um, next up is Varen. What would you uh, like to do? Uh, how's uh, bitch, bitch down there looking? You said he was looking kind of rough? Uh, the one he's stunned? Yeah. Yeah, he's looking pretty bad. All right, I'm just going to hit him. He's, All right. I'm going to fucking take advantage. Yep. Um, that definitely hits. Uh, 19 points of damage. 19 points, which is enough to take him out. So that one is gone. All right. Um, I am then going to shift my focus to uh, the Wizrobe. All right. 
um, because I fear magic more than I fear physical attacks. Um, <laughs> that's a normal ass thing. Um, does a 23 hit? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, con save, please. Ooh, okay. Con save. That was shit. So that's a that's a four. Uh yeah, uh stunned. Stunned. Damn. If he's uh, maintaining concentration or anything, uh he's gotta make a con save. Um, I don't think chain lightning was concentration, I think it just was a one off. Uh twenty one points of damage. Alright. Key point flurry of blows for two more attacks. Woo! Get it that get her ass? Does a fifteen hit? Get that ass. Um, it just hits, yes. Yes, okay. 18 points of damage. 18, alright. And final attack. That hits. And 21 more points. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna nerf this some more for this session. (laughs) Alright, she is looking pretty damn bad. You are just really fucking her up. Um, All right, yeah. next up is going to be um, the suggested hunter who has still kind of standing there, just kind of waving. Actually, he's like moves over and he's going to continue just trying to wave his arms and just hop around and distract as best he can. You have a little better suggestion. <laughs> what do you want me to suggest? Hunt your friends? No, tell him to help you with the, with the lady. With Ooh, help with the lady. You want to suggest that he help uh, help you carry the lady? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I will say that he can probably like dash over there, but uh, it'll be next turn before he can actually like pick it up. Okay. All right. So next up is going to be um the hunter number two over here that is fighting Alina. It's gonna continue making some attacks against Alina. Um, where is my hunter page? This one. Here we go. Alright. It's gonna make two attacks. One is a nat 20. And second one is a 23. Nice! Alright. So, first one. That was, that was shitty. Five points of piercing damage for the first one. That was the crit. I rolled a one. Oh, jeez. We have. So, two. Um, God, I'm rolling so bad. And the next one is six points of piercing damage. Half to three. We'll try to care. Yes. Um, all right. So, that's it for that turn. Next up is the sorceress who is stunned. Next up is you feel the entire ship, uh, ship rock as something slams into it. And any, everybody make dexterity saving throws. Screw the founder monster. Fuck me. 15. Okay, you're uh, good. Nat 20. 29. All right. Nine. <laughs> All right, so Alina, you are thrown off your feet and you are now prone. Um, but you don't really take any damage. There's not really anything too bad around you. Um, but everybody else, um, make perception checks for me real quick. Boy, I wonder what this could be. Uh, 22? 22, okay. Um, Mira, you look up and you see some large tentacle over through a hole in the wall. And you see it kind of crawl up and it's going somewhere past, somewhere past. It's not like going in, it's going up. And you hear the wood of the ship creaking as if something is squeezing it. It's hen time. Oh, God. <laughs> Next up no. is the champion who is going to wail on um, Viren because you're right next to him. That's fair. Alright. We got a fucking now! <laughs> Alright, so. Um, let's see. He's going to do another blinding smite. Rude of him, but okay. That is not gonna hit, I don't think. Well, actually, well, 19 doesn't hit you, does it? Nope. Yeah. 
Oh, that, this one's gonna hit. This one's gonna be a 26. Yeah, that one hits. Um, okay, so that will be... Eleven points of piercing damage plus oh, D8, so sixteen points of radiant damage. Yeah, okay. All right. And that's another slot down. All right, and that is it for that turn. Next up is Alina. Uh, um, we are at time, but do you want to keep going and finish up this fight? I yeah. would like. To. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna hit it three times. Uh, hitting the one next to you? Cool. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be, the first one's gonna be 18. Actually, synthetic 20. Um, and that's gonna be 7 plus 7. That's 14 points of damage. That actually 14. It's looking really bad. Uh the next one's going to be <laughs> um twenty-two to hit. Mm-hmm. Twenty-four actually. Um, yes. actually it's more. I've been adding nine. It's actually gonna be twenty It hits! <laughs> it hits. Either way it hits. And that's gonna be eleven points of damage. And that is enough to take that one out. So number two is gone. Uh, and I, I'm just gonna say I moved my, I made my movement to like get up. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, get out of here! And I All guess right. my, I'll, I'll hold off my third action and just kind of like, uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, next up is Mira. Wait, wait. What? 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 What, what? Can I, with my third action, can I uh, pull out my longbow? Shoot. Wait. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. you're gonna attack. Yeah. Oh, which yeah, way are you yeah, shooting? Yeah. Uh, I'm shooting uh, the sorceress. Sorceress. Go ahead. Uh, so that is a 20 something to hit? 27. That, that hits. Uh, and it's a D6. I think it's eight. Mm -hmm. Look uh, at you using a bow like an elf. I know. It's almost like I'm half elf. Uh, <laughs> that is max damage plus uh, four, so twelve points of damage. Which is enough to finally take her out, because Varen, you wailed on her so bad, and she's squishy, because she's a caster. I'm glad I shouldn't have gotten hit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> all right. Um. Anything else you want to do? No, that's, that's all I got. Mira, you are up. Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna take the lady. I'm gonna be like. You yeah. hand her over to to the hunter. Okay. Yes. And I'm gonna okay. take, take her to safety to the shore. The shore is so far away. You could just say the fucking rowboat. <laughs> Or the rowboat. Okay, anymore. so uh, this one's gonna take Genvir and start uh, just running with her and take them off. Okay. Anything else you want to do? I'm just gonna, uh, do you need help or should I just run? I'm gonna run. That's up to you. You can run if you want. I'm g I'm good. Okay. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna. Can I dash? Um, yeah, because you haven't actually used an action. You just told the dude to go take the lady. Cool. Uchi, Uchi Cabana. Um, I think that gets me on the way to the end. Yeah, let's see. I but with difficult terrain. I'm flying. Oh, you're sorry. Yeah, that's right. I'm flying. Yeah. Um, so right here. Uh, okay, like right to cruise. Okay. Ah. All right. Next up is going to be Cruz. All right. Um, um I don't want to leave without anybody, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a pot shot at this lady. I'm gonna use vicious mockery on her, so she can give me a wisdom save. All right. A wisdom save. Shot. 
Um, you're doing the one that Varen's fighting, the last one? Yeah. Uh, that's a, that's a fail. That, that was a shit roll. <laughs> nice. I can't hurt her that bad anyway. All right. <laughs> shit. That is nine psychic damage. Nine psychic damage. All right. Anything else? No. Do you want to move anywhere? No, I don't want to. I don't want to leave without anybody. I'll be right there. Go home. By the way, did you get? You got the box, right? You have it yeah, on you. I have it on. Okay, cool. You just hear y'all. I'll be right there. Go. That's what they always say before they die alone. Literally, literally. All right, next right, up is uh, Varen. Yeah, what they always say is, I'm right behind you. <laughs> um, have I damaged him? I, ha I have damaged him, right, already? Um, he's just got damaged by, uh, not him, uh, but Cruz damaged him. Okay, but but I haven't at all? Not yet, no. All right, let's, let's start hitting. Does a 21 hit? Um... 21 does. Con save, please. Con save. Uh, ooh, that was bad. God, I am rolling so... I have barely rolled double digits on this D20, this game. Like, why this you, is... Why are you using it? Because these are my DM dice. I have two of them, and I, they're my DM dice. They don't like you. They're, they like me more than my other dice, that's for sure. Um, that is going to be a... 11? Yeah, no. Stunned. Alright. Stunned yeah. on the champion. Uh, 22 damage. 22 damage. <laughs> Part of my attack. Uh, 27 definitely hits. That was super. Uh, 13 damage. Okay. Key point flurry of blows. We're in the low on those, but whatever. Uh, synthetic 20 hits. Uh, four, 15 more points. Okay. Final attack. 25 hits. 24 more points. All right. All right. Next up is going to be the Kraken. You again feel the entire ship uh, just kind of jolt to the side. And this time, one of the tentacles kind of bashes through one of the sides upstairs, which you guys don't see from where you are, but you can hear the splintering wood upstairs. Next up is the champion who is stunned, so I can't do anything. So, Alina. Ah, uh, fucking dashing out of there. All right. Varen said go. I'm gonna look at her, but better come with us. And I'm dashing. Want. You are dashing. Okay. So I make um, We're not forgiving Varen if she dies. Okay. Um, you're oh, over where here. Am I? You're over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, no, you, you I, are you coming moving through the room? Because you'd be in here with Cruz. Yeah, well, I'm moving through my 15 feet. Uh, okay. So that's 30. Uh, and then I'm dashing, so it'd be another 30 feet. So. Does that get you all the way upstairs? Yeah, it does. Okay, so I'll move you over here. Cool. I think it gets me all the way outside, like just outside the door. So. Okay. All right. So as you see, uh, go outside, you see the massive tentacles of this kraken engulfing the ship, and the, some of the tentacles are kind of thrashing on deck. Um. So make a dexterity saving throw, real quick. Against effect. Well, I keep forgetting I have a bad attack against dex on dex. Saves. Effect that I can, yeah. Fuck. Uh huh. But, what was it? So what was it? Uh, well, it says advantage on dex against effects that you can see. Is this an effect or would this not count? Um, is it supposed to be magical or just any effect? It just says effects. Effects. Go ahead and take advantage. Okay. 
Oh, cool. That was a good advantage. Uh, 21. 21? Okay, you're fine. You managed to avoid the thrashing tentacles uh, on the um, in the ship. So, I think that's a hagen. Um, you do see the Sahagin. Um, it's barely just kind of... Uh, actually, I would say that Sahagin's probably... Doesn't have as much speed as you, so you probably passed it on your way up. Uh, dang. Dang her. Well, I would have, but I forgot. Alright, but it was moving towards the exit. Alright, so next up is going to be Mira. Yeah, um... I'm gonna use Toll on the Dead on that guy. Um... So let's buy Baron. All right. Help out. Let's pick it up. And then what? Uh, what kind of save? Uh, Con? Wisdom save. Wisdom. That is a twenty. Stop fucking damage. Doesn't do it. I'm gonna be like, I tried, and then I'm just gonna like, hey babe, out of here. <laughs> you're okay. So many <laughs> All right. So you're gonna run? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. So you're heading out. Next up is going to be the Kraken again. That is again squeezing the ship. Water starts to flood into this whole area. So now this whole hold is going to be difficult terrain. Wait, didn't, uh, the, Kraken move be, didn't the Kraken move and then I didn't move and the Kraken moved again? I did Mira, Cruise. Did I skip you? I think so. Oops. Alina, Mira. Cruise. Okay, so cruise is next. Oh, cool. I'll go up there. I'll do so, that. I definitely went once in my last turn. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to grab the lady cruise? Oh, is she in here? Um, yeah, I'll probably yeah, the Suwagan's uh, on All its right, way. Yeah. I'll grab her on my way out. Okay. I mean, can I still dash for her? You'd be Make speed, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Where where is the rest of this ship? Upstairs. So here, I'll move you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, and you go up there, and you also see the thrashing tentacles of this kraken. And the uh, everything else. So go ahead and make a deck save for me, real quick, as you head outside. Uh, that's really bad. That's a seven. Seven. Okay. Um, you take a little bit of bludgeoning damage as you are kind of knocked around by the pulsating tentacles out there. Um, it's gonna be tentacles? pulsating tentacles. I don't. I don't like seven points of bludgeoning oh. damage. Love some pulse tentacles. I don't like any pulse at me. All right. <laughs> Especially tentacles. Especially tentacles. All right. Next up is um, Varen. Hi. Uh, how's he looking? Um, he's he's looking rough. Is he still stunned? Uh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. That's the end of your next game. So this uh, is yeah. Twenty-seven to hit. Definitely hits. Uh, twenty-one points. 21 points. How's he looking? Uh, he looking dead. Oh, cool. Okay. Alright, so that one is done. So... <laughs> You're gonna grab a trident? Okay, he grabs a trident. Um, can I see... Cause, um, can I see outside from here? Um, yes, through a hole in the wall, so go ahead and make a perception check, because water is flooding in, but there is a pretty sizable hole. Perception check is a natural 20. Um, yes, you do see. Can you what? Can I see our boat? You can see. You can't see the rowboat. You can see what is left of the fishing boat, as it is basically uh, half submerging. Okay. Um, and it looks pretty wrecked. Can I identify an area of the water where the kraken is not actively chopping up? Um, pretty much all the whole area nearby is going to be pretty choppy. Um, I would say you'd have to go maybe like mm, like a hundred feet out or so before it starts to get a little bit less, but it still just like radiates out, so it's not going to be. Knowing where, knowing that we came into the boat this way. Yeah. Can I find a hole in the side that allows me to see our boat? 
Yes. Yeah, you can peek out and see where your rowboat is. Great. I'm going to bonus action uh, teleport up to 60 feet into the boat. Speed run. Damn. Run. And I'm just going to right. it waiting for them. Can you at least tell us that you're on the rowboat? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so Varys just said, fuck y'all, and just head, no, just head yeah. into the boat. Dad, I'm all worried. And Varys messages, um, I know I'm in the boat. It's in her and I am. <laughs> all right. Uh, and even in the boat, it's pretty choppy. You see just the, the whole ship being crumbled, and you're just kind of having to hold on a bit as the, as the water gets crazy. Um, so next up is... Um, the Kraken will will continue its squeezing of the ship. You see, uh, Varen, you're a witness to it as well as uh, um, pretty much the only one who like doesn't actually see what's happening is going to be Mira because you're still inside. But everybody on the outside can see uh, the ship basically being squeezed and breaking apart. And almost um, Cruz and Alina, you see kind of midway this kind of crack form in the middle of the ship where it all looks almost like it's trying to rip the ship into two. All right, next up is going to be Alina. Uh, Dad? Uh, all right. I'm pretty sure I can just make it, yeah, I can make it all the way. Yeah, you dash, and you definitely see Varen there just chilling as best she can in this choppy little rowboat. And I'm looking anxiously at the boat. Yes, um, but you, with your speed, you will be able to make it to the, to the boat. Um, next up is Mira. Let's get the fuck out of here. Um, fucking dash, bitch. I'm dashing. It's, it's happening. We're... Oh, yeah. We're good. I assume I have enough to get... Yeah. I'm yeah, not... You can, like, act, like, move, action, move. Bonus action, move. Action, move. Ooh, okay. Um, you have 90 feet of movement. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> <laughs> here, I will move you. <laughs> you move to a part of the ship where you normally wouldn't be. So here, I'll move you over here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Okay. Do I have more movement? The forbidden part of the ship. <laughs> yeah, you you have more movement because you, you didn't move that make far. It to the rowboat. Okay. Where With ninety feet, I think that you can make it to the rowboat. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. Woo. Let's so go, I will. Let's go. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> you just see her just zoom like a giant dragonfly just right past you. <laughs> All right. Um, and lastly is Cruz. All right. Can I, make it to the Can I make it to the rover with this lady in my hand? Um, what's your speed? What's your total speed? 30. 30? You should be able to. I think it's just dashing, though. <laughs> yeah, you have to dash yeah, it's set up 60. Now, 30. one thing I will say is you have to climb down to the boat. And you have one hand, and you are carrying a person. How are you going to do that? I'm flying because I can, like I can catch her because I'm flying and like I'll put her down. Like, <laughs> okay, are you trying? Are you going to catch her? Or are you going to take her? We should take, take her, her. her because take she's right upset the boat and it just pops dead weight. Oh my god! Somebody take, take her, please. I'll take her. Okay, so Mira, as you zoom past, you kind of grab her from uh, Cruz and uh, manage to finagle her into the boat. Um, in that case, Cruz, you will definitely make it to the rowboat. So all of you are in the rowboat now. The whole ship is going under, being dragged under by this Kraken. All of you are being shook. What are you doing? Let's go. Power Let's roll that shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, you have to untie the boat first. <laughs> Fucking chop that. Just chop it off. Just flash it. All right, so Alina, go ahead and make a strength check for me as you Ooh. try and power row this boat can out I, of this area. Can I, can, am I, I, I guess I'm not. I'm still. I'm not frenzy raging anymore. Uh, but I will. Um, uh, one second. Uh, if you're not frenzy raging, then you are exhausted. Yeah. Can I frenzy rage again? <laughs> Do a second frenzy. Uh, yeah, well, it's like a rage, I guess. Um, I guess Frenzy's just good if I'm... Yeah, uh, just rage. Uh, just regular rage. So I get advantage on strength checks. Wait. Yeah, I have advantage on strength checks. It will work right now, but it will fade. Yeah, I know. I okay, know. I know. go ahead. I got, I got two more rages if I need to. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Rage throwing. <laughs> uh, it's a attack or a saving throw. A check. 
Uh, it's a check. Uh, it's uh, 18. It'll work 18. Okay. Alina is working overtime and you are trying to get as much distance away I'm from. Be so sore tomorrow. You are going to be in so much pain tomorrow. Um, one thing you notice is that the storm has dissipated around this area. Um, the fishing boat is um, sinking and uh, you see that there are a couple people just kind of treading water. Um, another rowboat. <laughs> There does not appear to be another rowboat. Can we pick them up? Um, you can try if you want to. The Kraken continues to pull this ship under. So you continue to row and you do make it, manage to make it to the wreckage or what is left as the ship or as the fishing boat sinks. Um, you see Henley. You do not see anybody else. Oh, pick up Henley. Henley is barely uh, gasping for breath, and he's like ba basically almost out of breath for I having think, to yeah. uh, tread water. Wasn't Morvin with us? Morvin was not with you. Oh. No, he was. He was. Yeah, he stayed on the fishing boat. No. Any sign of people under the water? Yeah. Um, you can attempt to dive under the water. I will I dive. Water breathing, and I dive. Same. All right. Um. You guys go and dive underwater and go ahead and make perception checks. God fucking damn it. 25. Um, 25? 18. 18. Um, it is a mess underwater. You see broken wood, um, the ship, but you do see a couple bodies descending. Um, you do see Morvan, and you see the, another oh, dwarven member of the crew um, that are just kind of sinking. Um, it looks as though they have drowned. Anybody else? Um, not, uh, with all the debris. Okay. I, I grab Morvan and I point at the other one. They're, they're dead. Morvan's dead. Drown they're doesn't dead. mean dead yet. Drown just means lungs full of water. We can fix this. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go get him. I'm gonna go get him. I'll go get him. All right. You race towards them and manage to swim and, uh, drag them back to the rowboat. Don't we have Henley in a boat with us? Henley's in the boat. The okay. boat is very crowded, especially with Morvan. Morvan's a big man. Cruz is a big man. Uh, and it's uh, definitely weighing down the boat. It's going to slow you down. I checked. <laughs> Alina, you, you working hard, girl. Uh, does Morvan have a pulse? Um, Morvan, uh, I would say uh, make a, hmm, make like a survival. I mean, I don't know. Medicine, medicine, thank you. Okay. Medicine, that's the one. Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, you feel a slight pulse, but it's very weak. Everybody actually, um, what did you two roll again for underwater? Perception. Perception, sorry, yeah. Twenty-five. Uh, Varen, one thing that you do notice is as you are picking Morvan and putting him back in the boat, something gold glimmers in the water. And go for it. You go, go for it. You Morvin to Heimlich or whatever. What's his name? Heig? Heineken? Henley? Henley. Yeah, him. All right, you hand Morvin to Henley, and Henley is just shaken and, and terrified. CPR, go. What? <laughs> water out of his lungs. All right. And you guys all... Eat him, you should Eat him off. off. Literally. Eat him off. <laughs> you know, all right. I was at the edge of the boat for a second. I reach up to cruise. I brought you a trident. And I go back under. <laughs> You dive under, and right as she's diving under, the rest of you see what the remainder of the Emperor of the Waves be dragged under the water. You hear this loud crack as it splits in half and is pulled under. And Varen, as you dive under to see what the gold is, you are face to face with a very familiar face. There is a gold dragon, or actually a brass dragon, as you see Zelifarn, who swims up and says something kind of blah, 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 that sounds like kind of, kind of like what's going on, and you pop up to the surface. Like, he follows you. We found a kraken. We need help. We have injured people. Can you help us? He says, "Yes, I saw." Thank you. Here, so guys, uh, I'm working so hard. Please. <laughs> uh, Zella Farm will go and grab like the the rope that is leading the boat, and he will help pull you. As you race away from this kraken and its prey. What 
and that is where we will end the session. As you guys are. I'm hoping this dragon one would die. I love this stupid dragon. I love it. Oh, that was good. That was fun. The dice are coming today. Salani, what are your thoughts on making it instead of two extra dice, just one extra die? That's fine. Okay. Whatever is cool. I like. It, it feels wrong. You're doing a lot of damage, and it, it's it if it's. Wrong. <laughs> We're gonna make it one extra die. Cool. Before <laughs> 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 Alina's arms are just gonna be completely <laughs> stiff tomorrow. Just like, I'm oh my god. Have, like, a, I'm just laying on the robo. I'm, like <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting there like bleeding into the boat, and I'm like, Hey, Cruz, I brought you a trident. <laughs> you better fucking be magical. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, thank you everybody who hung out with us for this this oh, epic uh, journey. That was pretty awesome. I am so glad I got to bring a kraken into the mix because I oh, love krakens. That was very fun. It's my awesome. first kraken in D and D. It's Dang. my first kraken. Wait, Wait is it? Yeah. I think so. Are you, Are you a liar? It's mine. It's yeah, your it's first. It's, it's your first. My first kraken. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Let's see. Closing the arguments. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing anything. I am. I am quarantined apparently because not really quarantine. Quarantine, but like I'm working from home, and um, kind of bored playing lots of Final Fantasy. So I got nothing going on. What do you guys? What do y'all got going on? I got a game tomorrow morning. I'm DMing. Hey. Hey. It's yeah. at 8.30 in the morning because I hit myself. Uh, <laughs> also because I have two players that are in Scotland, so uh, time zones, Scotland. man. Uh, Scotland. Scotland. Um, uh, I DM this weird homebrew game that I made last minute uh, for my friends that includes one shots and time dimensional traveling. Uh, and I'm okay at it, but you should still come. It's a fun time. Uh, it's tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time over at the Hype Goblins channel. Uh, I got some uh, some fights uh, tomorrow planned for my players. So you should go over and watch. Ew, uh, okay. And then sometimes I'm in other games. And you should just follow me on Twitter. Uh, at Alyssa Vamp with two keys if you want to find me in other games. I'm tired. I don't want to say them. <laughs> <laughs> I got her schedule. <laughs> All right. Anybody else got some cool going on? Podcast. I have a D&D schedule. Hi, guys. Okay. Um, Saturday is, of course, my start to my D&D week for some funny reason. Uh, I play here usually from 8 to 11. So today, apparently, 8 to 11.30. Very good, <laughs> guys. Um, tomorrow, I will not be uh, jamming for my because we're dealing with some weird corona shit. Um, uh, oh, yeah, well, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting time. Um, on Monday, uh, my campaign's on hiatus until my friends move, so that's another campaign that's not happening. I'm really going through withdrawal right now, guys. Aww. I feel that. Tuesday campaign is also on hiatus right now because of school shit. I'm dying, guys. Help me out. Wow, I've never seen you with so few games going on. Uh, Wednesday is still on. We're playing Blades in the Dark. Hi, Grim Lost. My Blades bud. Love you. At some point, we gotta meet, like, IRL. Like, this is kind of ridiculous. Like, we gotta... We, we gotta... So do we, yeah. damn it. Yeah. We're going to until yeah. outbreak. Coronavirus also, so I have to share some very exciting personal news with you guys. Mm. It sounds real dumb. Um, my favorite GM is finally going to run another game for me. Yay! Uh, I get to go back to my Pathfinder roots. Um, the the premise of this game is basically a post, like a post slash post post apocalypse. Um, so we're gonna be very like Mad Maxi. Um, the the direction is this is a campaign for edge lords. So, <laughs> so it's perfect for you. The edge on it. Um, very nice. You're ready to join. Um, yeah, like imagine like me and Adriana in a campaign specifically for Edge Lords. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the power! Um, but I'm thinking about maybe playing uh, like a Harbinger, a Zealot. It'll it'll be fun. But I'm a little like I'm a little 
decision paralyzed because there are so many fucking options in Pathfinder and I forgot that. Um, but I'm very, very excited about it because I haven't gotten to play with this fucker in a long time. Any of you tell them I said that. We're just <laughs> streaming live on the internet. <laughs> she doesn't watch, it's fine. <laughs> um, but I am still looking for uh, games to replace the Tuesday game, which may or may not start back up. Um, and also, like, late night Friday games. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, my life is getting real exciting. I'm very excited for this stupid Pathfinder game that I'm going to spend hours building for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Anybody else? Podcast of Final Fantasy. That's all you need. Yep. Play Shadowbringers because if you like edgy, it is. I'm, I'm getting there. You're getting there. You're. I'm getting, getting there. there. I think you're gonna like Heaven's War if you like Inquisition, but like we should all do something this week, uh, off time since we are all like quarantined and off. I am not. And work. I am well, not. Let's well, <laughs> the PV then. <laughs> Everybody but PV. Yes. Yeah. Wait. Do, what about during the day PV? I it on and I love it. It's so much fun. Like how early in the day? I don't fucking know. How early it's... do you have to be at work? <laughs> I go, I get, I get, so my time, like, four, but also, most of my time has been dedicated to Final Fantasy IV. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I feel ya. <laughs> All right. Bye, I think we'll go ahead and say goodnight to everybody. Have a good night. Bye, we'll see y'all. you next week. Same time, same channel. Everybody stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you later. Wash your fucking hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> Bye. 20 seconds. <laughs>